you know, I won. My name's Manning. That I didn't know how to run his commercials, so he's gonna kill me because no, I won. My name's Manning. I, I messed up <clears throat> in starting these commercials, and I did about five or six of them. So Manning, you have to run them at the end of the program versus the start of the program. Um, good evening, everyone. I am cranky. I've changed my name to now K A K R A N K Y. I didn't use the C because I think I'm a cranky person. So I want to use that name going forward. I want to say first, thanks for everyone for joining. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to what I envision to be a very interesting conversation today with a very special guest, given that's all that's transpiring in the sort of football environment in Jamaica um, and some of the more recent events that have occurred. So if you can hear me, just indicate accordingly. I want to make sure. You can hear me clearly, so just give me a thumbs up if you're hearing me. That would be appreciated. And I want to say thanks to a number of you who are joining. So Drew Ross, I think we met at the Guatemala game. Ricardo, Jason, thanks for joining. Uh, those of you who haven't put up comments also, thanks for being here. I expect us to have a very fruitful conversation, a very professional conversation. I want to be clear, I'm not here to beat anybody because I don't like to get beaten. And I know a lot of people like to beat. I don't think beat is the way we should operate as a society and other people. We should be professional. It's about information gathering. And when you get the information, you can make your own decision about where you come out. You know, as you can imagine, as the sort of title sort of suggests, I'm going to um, bring up Dennis Chum in a second. Dennis is the GenSec for Jamaica Football Federation. I think he's been in his role probably for about a year now. He was brought in to help correct some of the challenges that the JFF have faced over the years. And so far with him coming in, a couple more individuals like Manning's Man and Simon, we haven't heard as much challenges and situations with the men's team. However, as we know, we have had some significant challenges with our women's football team, who, as we all agree, did a phenomenal job, made the country proud when they reached the last 16 of the Women's World Cup. <clears throat> but having said that, there was, was a lot of negative news that came out during the World Cup and subsequently concerning how they've engaged with the JFF administration and some things that have transpired. Um, Dennis had an interview with Manning's man uh, Omar more recently, where he talked about some of those situation. And one thing that came up, which was clearly, which was, has been a little bit controversial subsequent to that meeting was around whether or not the women's team received all their payments. So payments relating to past payments and or payments relating to what came out of the World Cup. And so we're going to get some clarity this evening. Secondly, during the interview that Bonnie Shaw and Becky Spencer had with Sportsmax, a number of things came to the forefront. Much of it to me were historical and probably won't get into it this evening because things are past their past. But a little more current and prospective, I want to have a discussion with Dennis about concerning what transpired in that interview and where we go from here. And also, the most important thing in this discussion is to bridge that gap between what Dennis had communicated to Manning's man and what transpired in that interview with Sportsmax. And by the way, I thought Ricardo Chamber did a really good job of trying to bring some of those things forth. So Ricardo, um, big up to you and much flowers to you. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring Dennis forward actually, cause he's here. And Dennis, good evening, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing Cranky? I'm good, man. I am doing well. I'm doing well. I'm looking forward to our conversation. Mm -hmm. And so you probably heard my little semi-monologue before you came in. Uh, I hope you did concerning yeah, I heard it. the intent of this discussion this evening when we're trying to go with this. Uh, I, I, you were on the program with Manning's Man previous to this, this week talking about some of the things that we'll talk about around the reggae girls. So... I think the best way to have this discussion this evening is a more chronological sequence of events that got us to where we are today. 
So, and starting from the World Cup, because I think that's important. And as part of that whole discussion is to make sure we bring forth some of the things that were discussed on Sportsmax. And I'll name a couple of them. One is the payments to the reggae girls. Have they received all their payments, inclusive of match fees, per diem, bonuses, things of that nature? Secondly, um, are the girls suspended or did they boycott? What's the impasse now? And how do we ameliorate that impasse that we have because we seem to can't budge? Third, from the interview with the girls, and I'm, we can talk about these, I'm just throwing them out there so people can understand where we're going with this. Third is around communication. There was a theme with Becky when she was talking, less so with Bonnie with Becky around communication, communication, communication. And part of that communication also is around lack of transparency. And you link into that um, integrity, honesty, professionalism. So I'll stop there and give you the mic. Yeah, well, well, thank you, Cranky. Let me first say that, you know, um, you know, the last thing that we want to do um, all the time is go over this issue in the public again. And, um, you know, because the focus for us, to be honest with you, um, right now, you know, is really on the senior women's team that's playing tomorrow. Um, that they're playing in Guatemala. Um, and, you know, I've been talking to them. They're in good spirits. Um, we expect a good performance from them tomorrow. So, you know, we really didn't intend to to discuss these issues in public um, because, you know, from our point of view also, we will have a contract in place and we try to honor the grievance procedure um, that's in the contract. Um, so it's a little unfortunate that we're here, you know, again, particularly given the fact that, you know, we've, we've asked that a grievance, the grievance procedure and the contract be followed, um, which basically is is that you know if there are issues that it be communicated to us um in writing and we've got some issues communicated but definitely not this one um about <clears throat> money still outstanding so we've, we've we've got some things communicated to us which we, we've dennis, addressed dennis, so one, one second dennis one second for those mm -hmm. in the chat um we had a conversation with dennis earlier dennis is at a location where he cannot be on camera yeah. If during this conversation he gets to a location where he can be, then he'll do so. He's not trying to hide. I know some of you, that's how you think negatively. Not trying to hide. Before we have came on, that was communicated, which is he's not able to put himself on camera, which, and Kyle said, well, I know Kyle's in the chat. Kyle said that yesterday, and we allowed it. So, Dennis, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. To yeah so, um, we, 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 we did have some communication. So, from, from the World Cup, um, and, and even before that, um, from myself and the president was in the UK in February, you know, and we spoke to them. We asked that some representatives be identified who we could communicate with. And we do have a manager that actually communicates with the team also, right, um, and works with the team consistently. Um, so we have been communicating um, by, by email through the manager and by text message through WhatsApp with the representative. And, you know, it, it carried over from the UK camp primarily in February, um, where we, we, we wanted to keep the, the communication constant because there are some issues that were raised in UK. And we say, okay, fine, we want to address those issues. Um, so we continue the communication. And, you know, we have all the messages to prove it. Um, with the representatives that has been out there. Now, you know, if if the representative actually communicated with the rest of the team, we don't know, but those were the representatives that were appointed to us to communicate with. Um, so the first one, for example, um, in February was that, you know, hey, there was some reimbursement money outstanding. It wasn't fully reconciled. And a part of that problem was that, you know, we, we can't pay out money without the documentation. So we, we got all of that together and that was paid up, right? And we've always tried to pay the per diem, you know, for each each game um, that we do. So we've had constant communication. Um, when the matter came up, 
in September and October, we were communicating with the person who we were told to communicate with. Um, what what, what matter are you looking to, Dennis? What matter are you looking to? What matter? The whole thing of the selection for the, the games, um, the World Cup, um, after the okay. World Cup qualifiers, right? The, the, okay. Right. Um, so we were communicating with that person and then we got a letter to say, signed by 18 persons to say that we should communicate um, through FIFPRO. So we have been communicating through FIFPRO as the representative. Now, I understand that it is said that there is no discussion with the players and we've just been discussing with fifth pro so if we were told to communicate through with fifth pro as a representatives though we thought that we were communicated with a duly appointed person um that represents the girls and and we did get from them um to their credit also through fifth pro the three representatives who would be at the meeting that we had proposed um, no, I don't know. I actually wrote a letter to Fifth Pro because I'm saying, hey, you know, is it that you are really the representative or not? Because this is the information we got. So we are still assuming that Fifth Pro is the representative, right? Because um, we don't have anything else to say who the representative is now. So we're assuming it's Fifth Pro, mm -hmm. um, but that's based on, on the information we got from Fifth Pro. Right, so I'm hoping that now, I can. Is, it, is there a person within Fifth Pro you're communicating with? A multiple person? Yeah, man, yeah, man, a person that we're communicated with um, in Fifth Pro. Um, that's that, that sent us the information, a letter to say that you know all these persons have signed and says this is our duly appointed representative. Um, so we're hoping it's Fifth Pro, um, but we do have three names that were outlined. Or uh, you know, hopefully those are the persons also. Um, but, you know, we've had various channels, so our manager continues to communicate um, as needed with them. And also, we had two persons that came to us. So, so let me tell you, we had proposed that a meeting happen on, well, well, let me back up. So, when we had the selection issue came up, before the, the women's, um gold cup qualifiers we had sent out um a call up to 40 odd players at the time right including the 23 and some other players most of which are playing um um for the team now um and we sent we sent it out far and wide right because we wanted to to ensure that all the persons available were given an opportunity um we got and and you asked the question of whether the girls are suspended or they they're just not available and and the 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 sequence of it is that they had written back to us to say that they're unavailable because they had some some issues that they needed to deal with with us right um so we decided that you know what it is best in the interest of us and also the girls to then suspend the selection not to suspend the girls but suspend the selection process for those persons who said they had an issue because if we didn't do that then understand the, the rules of the game is that if we call somebody up and they haven't indicated that they're unavailable for, uh, or they're retired, right? Um, then it means that they can face some, some penalties for it. So we thought that it was best to suspend the selection of these persons until we sorted out the issues and go through the proper grievance procedure as outlined in the contract. Um, right. So, so Dennis, before you go further, one second. Mm -hmm. You mentioned mm -hmm. that 18 of the, I'm going to say 24 girls or 23 girls, 
right, um, right. indicated but, to you around who they should communicate with? What about the other five or six? What's their communication oh, wait, wait, mode wait, wait, if they were part of this? Yes, go ahead. Well, those persons did not indicate um, anything about about um, unavailability from even the start because there were college players, right? right. And, and mm -hmm. when, they, when they were unavailable because they had exams and things. So those girls were still, even now, have been sent um, information for call-up, right? So we, we still even now call them up. Um, so it, it's not a matter of us saying, hey, all these players are not available, right? Um, right. It's, it's a matter of saying that you know, you have indicated to us that you have some issues that you want to get ironed out. And because of that, you're unavailable, right? And therefore, what we've done is say, okay, what we're going to do is suspend your selection until we go through the process and sort all of these things out. So, so was we, the suspend selection a penalty or a way of helping the girl? No, 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 no. It's, it's not a penalty. It's, it's to ensure that we don't, there's no call up that happens because if a call up happens and they, they're, they're unavailable for any reason outside of an injury, then it means that they can have penalties. So once we suspend their selection, then there's no risk of that happening to them because it means that there can be no call up. Um, and it also it works for us because it means that we know that you know, these persons are having issues and, you know, there is a possibility that because they have said that until these things are sorted out, they're unavailable, that, you know, it would, might not make any sense um, to call them up because they're, they're going to say they're unavailable until we sort out the issues. So we say, hey, let's go through the grievance process <laughs> because there's a grievance procedure that's outlined in the contract. And we say, you know what? We have a contract that expires on December 31st. Um, let's go through the process, right? The process says, document to us in writing what the issues are that you're having, right? And you recall the issues were, um, the, initially it was payment, right? Um, the, the, the staff situation in terms of knowing the name of the staff, right? And there was... Um, one more thing, right? But it had nothing to do with the performance or anything. Um, but that, that matter was, was, was dealt with. Um, the issue of the payment, we had, when it initially came up, right, that they were unavailable and the payment was one of the issues, um, you recall that we had done a comprehensive and very detailed spreadsheet, match by match for each player, which showed how much money is owed to each player coming from last year, including per diem and match fees, right? From last year, I think February, South Korea, right? So we did a very extensive thing, right? We added it up, right? Um, and we, 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 we came up with the amount of money that's outstanding. Now, we were short about 300 and something thousand. Now, when it came out that, this was the, the, the one of the reasons, right, why the girls were unavailable. We actually received a, a, um, a lifeline from FIFA. So the money, even, the, even the, the, the full amount of money we haven't received yet, right, um, from FIFA, the, it, everything is not done yet. Um, but they, but, but they Dennis, came one, in. One second, Dennis. What, what's mm -hmm. the, uh, as, as every country, we'll come back to that, right? We'll still want to go to the sequence of events. But if every country... Yeah who participate in the World Cup still haven't received the total full payment from FIFA for their participation and bonuses and incentives? The bonus, or the bonus, you remember that $60,000 each, that was received and paid over the day after. And it was received net of taxes. Because you'd have seen that. Um, I think this was in September. Okay. Sometime in September, we received it and we paid it out. As soon as we received it, we paid it out the day after. Right, so the money is is sixty thousand dollars each, and after the Australian um, authorities took their withheld the tax, it came to thirty five thousand dollars. Right, and that money was paid out immediately um, to everyone. So as soon as we received it, we paid it out the next day. In terms assume, of the, I assume that Dennis, I assume mm -hmm. there's a reconciliation which shows 
the total amount less the tax by the Australian government net for 35,000. Is that correct? Yeah, man. In fact, the Australian government actually sent us individual tax computations for each player, which was forwarded to each player. So all of that is there. And, 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 and we had done, when we did the computations with them, um, we, we, well, when we did the computation, we actually did it in conjunction with FIFA and the Austra Australian tax office. So we got sign off from both of them in doing the computation. And what we would have done also is sent the contract to them so they know how much money was actually computed, right? And they would have run through the computations we did um, with the contract. So we did... So, so that, that is, that is, let's, let's, mm -hmm. let's back up a second. I also make sure we're clear because, you know, Jamaicans are very focused on money, as you know. So let's mm -hmm. want to make sure we put the money thing to bed. So there's a couple of things. One is, how many different payments were due to the girl? Was it match fee, per diem, bonus, participation, incentive? How many categories of fees were there? It's about the four. Paid it's four about four. Okay. Four. So you had per diem, you had match fees, you had the, the, the bonus, which was the $60,000, and the incentive, which was 20% of, of what we, we, um, we got for JFF. Okay. So it was those four. And those four were all put on a spreadsheet from, this, from the South Korea game last year, which they were owed. This was like February 2022, which they were owed for. Um, so I have, a, I have an extensive spreadsheet of all of those things by player, right? So, so the does, does it include all players such as those who participate in the World Cup and those who may not go to the World Cup during the qualification? We have those also, yes. Okay. So those, those were also there, and they're on a different spreadsheet because remember that, um, that, that, that they would have been, been paid in a separate way. But what we had is once we worked out the formula between what was due to the girls who participated but were not at the World Cup mm -hmm. and the girls who were at the World Cup, we know that. So, for example, if it's $100, I would say $70 is due to the girls who went to the World Cup. That $70 now would be allocated based on the spreadsheet, right? And mm -hmm. also the monies that were due from last year right were also computed in that so we have a, a very comprehensive spreadsheet right match by match so south korea um, um australia in february the uk everything by per diem and by match fees also included in that and then when you get to the world cup you have per diem match fee the bonus and the incentive and all of that is, is on a spreadsheet. And that is used to generate a statement, right, um, for each person that was sent to the manager who sent it off to the girls. So that okay. statement of what was paid went off. And I know in terms of the payment itself to each person, I approved it um, myself. I approved the transaction myself. That went to the bank. So it went so, to the bank and that money has come out and that money has left. And we paid out about 1.4 million US to to um to the three the 23 so, persons. So 1.4 million paid out to the 23 persons, excluding right, the, right. the persons who played in the qualifiers who may not go right, to work. Right, 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 right. About that, yeah. And that, that, that would include the bonuses, net of taxes. Yeah, yes, about that. Net right, but the, the 1.4 the total amount. The net of taxes could be half of that number, say so seven hundred, eight hundred thousand paid out to them. Right? No man, no man. That is net. That is net of the taxes. So that's net of the thirty-five percent. The Australian government. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man. So you got grossed about two million, then, right? No, no, because not everything was taxable. What was okay. taxable was the bonus amount. Right. right? But okay. we still, okay. Okay. but we okay. still had to, based on the Australian tax code we still had to send them all the information that related to any payments during that time so they could make their assessment as to what is taxable and what is not taxable. Okay. 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 <clears throat> yeah. The girls got paid. The girls got paid. Now, did they... 
So they got paid net of taxes and, and yeah. I'm accounted that. I'm thinking about when they file their taxes in their domicile no. country, do they get credit for the Australian component? This is just my for my knowledge. All right, all right. So taxes on individual things. So once we do that comp, um, thing now and we send them the statement, which is why the Australian tax authorities sent us a statement, so sent it them, they right. can go and file their individual taxes and okay. if they are okay. if they are if they are eligible they can get an exemption and maybe get back some taxes so i mean that's how tax okay. works in our jurisdiction yeah. yeah so they may get more than the sixty thousand at some point anyway they may get the sixty thousand or some of them right not depending, depending on, yes, on how yes. they file individually yeah right okay okay so right. we're not at the point where you're saying because yesterday when bunny shaw and becky got interviewed bunny initially said that they hadn't gotten payments from I think match fees and per diem from maybe February. And then there was a follow-up question by Ricardo to inquire further, was it only those payments or other payments? And she said those and also some of the girls did not get paid for their World Cup bonuses and whatever World Cup payment they should have gotten. So you're now saying well, 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 everyone well, I, at the well, 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 based on the spreadsheet that we have and the payments that we have, we have paid everything, right? Now, my point is this. If, and you know, I called, when I heard, I called the accountant today and I spoke with her and she said to me, but who hasn't been paid? And that's what we would love to know. So we, we, we can't go on a blanket statement to say that some persons have received. But if we know particularly, because it, to make a statement like that, you must know who the persons are. So if we know who the persons are that's identified, then we can obviously go back to that spreadsheet and say, hey, but this is how the thing went, right? And so check you're, it you're back. Saying, so let me on, this. So, go ahead, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, based on all the records we have and the competitions we have done, and certainly even my, my um, interaction with our content today, you know, we, we don't know what, what it relates to because as far as we're concerned, everything has been paid. Now, one of the queries that came up from Fifth Pro was that, and it is really a, a, a silly query, right? Um, that, but everybody didn't get the same amount of money. And I said, well, obviously, because everybody didn't play the same amount of games since last year. And the payment that we made was from last year. So if, if, if someone plays five games and somebody plays 10 games, then obviously you know, everybody's not going to get the same amount. And that's, and that's why I, I made the point that what we did is we went through game by game for per diem and match fees according to the contract, right? And we actually did the computations for all 23 players, right? Now, there was an issue that came up now. Now, recall that there are 23 players there was a 24th player that was included at the World Cup, but that player was not someone that we would have been accountable for. That player was brought in, right, um, as someone to basically come in and by the coach to get experience and, you know, that sort of thing. But that, that person would not come to the 23 and also... Um, they would not have gotten any bonus from FIFA because FIFA only pays 23 persons, right? So here's the question, um, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Um, for that, no, we were we said to them, well, listen, hey, we will pay the money from FIFA over to the persons. How you deal with the 24th player, the players need to decide that and maybe sort something out for that person, right? So I don't know if that person is, is included, but that person would not have been on the rust of the 23. So that was our 24th player. Right. So here's the, here's the question that pops up, Dennis, as we go through this process. Yeah. Bunny's saying, so we had a dialogue yesterday in one of the streams we were running where the question was asked about how does Dennis, in his role, get confirmation that the money was sent to each of the players, right? Does Dennis, so you say you sign off on it, but I'm sure you sign off on the total amount that goes out not no, man, I signed up. I, I, I approved the individual payments to the bank also. Right, but you don't so see, you, you haven't looked at the money going to the bank. You approve it. So you expect that the person who 
you employ will send it, correct? No man, no man. Once I send that, once once I go to the bank, you know. So what, understand what it goes. It goes to the bank with um a transfer form for each person. Okay. Right. And I just say approved. Mm -hmm. Right. So myself and another director says approved on that email, and then the bank does the transfer. No. I mean, the question come up. Is it that monies goes to someone, is sent to someone, and they don't get it? We don't know, but what we know is this. We confirmed all the accounts that it was to be sent to, because we would have sent money before. So everyone, every account is money. We have accounts we had sent to before, and we asked also that all of that be confirmed. We also know that the money has left our bank, right? And that's two months ago. So if money was going to be returned, it normally is returned in a matter of two or three days. Right? So no money has so come the, back. Right? right. The, the other thing the though, the, uh -huh. the other thing though, Cranky, is that remember I said that we also sent a statement. So if I right. send you a statement and I say, Cranky, I have sent five dollars to you, if you don't get that money, right, and this is an account that you'd have provided to me, then I would expect that you would say to me, hey, Dennis, you sent the $5, but I don't see it. Right. You understand? That's, we that's, have, that's, that's the question I'm going to ask you, which is this, which is this, which is... Right. And we we haven't got any of that feedback. Right, no, no, I'm saying your communication mode is FIPRO, not the individual players. No, 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 then, no. On the, no, no, not on the payment, not on those payments. Not on the payments, okay. No, okay. no, no, no. The only communication we've had with FIPRO is surrounding... The, the 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 issues and the meeting that we have proposed because all right so um before the, the first no, no, match, before we go there before, before we go there then before we go there let's stay on the payment thing because it's an yeah. imperative we put this to bed so on right. the payment did your accountant or his or her representative confirm with each person well, well take a step back the spreadsheet you have which details right. all the players all the payments all that was owed, did you confirm before you communicate the payments with those individuals what that formula looks like and what they were owed and they all agreed with it, even if they may not understand it? Um, well, we confirmed, we confirmed the amount owing with the manager. Okay. Right? So we would have confirmed with a manager who is in touch with the players. Right, you, you manager um, on your end, and, the JFF or on, manager on, on my on our end, right? Okay. Um, okay. Um, and we would have confirmed the formula that we use between what was paid from the first round to the World Cup players, and also what is played to the the, the players leading up to the World Cup. But so there was no confirmation. The, yeah, but there's no confirmation of the exact formula with each player. And her, their, their representative, correct? Yeah. Well, well, it's not really a formula, you know. It is, it is an amount. So it's like I have a contract. Understood. With, understood, understood. Right. So I have so a contract say, with you, thank you. So I said, I said, game one, game two, game three. I yeah, know yeah. that you have five days for game one, four days for game okay. two. So the per diem is a per day thing, right? So you compute right. that per day and the match fee is also set by the contract. So it does include the amounts there that is due for each game. What is important is that we pick up the, the games that are relevant. I would have picked up all the games and reconciled that back against what payment was made and what payment wasn't made. So we know what is owed, right? And okay. then we just, so we, 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 we look at it on a per game basis and then we add it at the end and say, okay, this is the total amount that is owed. So it's not a formula that needs to be, 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 be verified. It is an amount of money. So you say, I, I say, you know, Cranky, we have a, we have a, we have a, a contract that I pay you $100 each game, right. right? It's just for us to say, has the 100 been paid or has the 100 been paid? Right. And, and therefore, we added all of that up from South Korea coming forward. We got a certain amount of money, right, at the end, and we paid all of that out. And then the bonus sheet, 
was actually different. So we, we, we computed the, the, the amounts owed per game and the incentive on one sheet and on the sep a separate thing. We, 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 no, we added the bonus in a column at the end because the bonus is a set amount per player right. that we receive, which was $35,000 each. Right? Um, so okay. that... Okay. Yeah, so, so that so that's what we've done. So and we just added it up now. And then after that, no, we would have we would have done a statement of what was paid and sent that out to each player. Right. So from that now, I would say that um if there was an amount, if I send you something and say, Cranky, I paid you five dollars and you don't see that, then I'd have expected that you come to me and say, Hey Dennis, you send me the statement with five dollars, but I don't see it. But we haven't gotten any of those things come back to us. Right. So and you we can 100% do... say that everybody's being paid. You know the money left the bank, the total amount you signed right. off on. You know right. the individual account, but pay for some people mean the money's in my account, not right. the, the just there for this account, right? So you think you've sent right. all the money, but it may not reach its destination. Right. So, so we can't say, we, we, could, we can never say unless we're sitting in someone's account, right? Just like we do with every other bank transfer that someone has received money. But we know that what we have, we, have, we have seen many instances where we've sent money and it was received by the person and they never even realized that the money was there, right? But what we know is that the money has left our account. We know it has been two months and the money has not been returned. And we know that we have not had anyone come back to say with, based on the statement that he sent us, we didn't get any money. So we'd love to understand that. So we are not saying that it's not possible, right? What we're saying is that if that is the case, send us the individual persons who have not received the money, right? Okay. And yeah. then we can say, okay, fine. This is what we have paid for, right? Okay. If the person say, I don't get it, we can go to the bank, like we've done with many persons, and say, bank, what happened to this money? Trace it. The bank, the, the bank that, that our bank, all they can do is confirm that it has got to the other bank. Right. And they can provide a reference number, and then we can give that reference number to the person and say, okay, check this with your bank as a reference number. Because we just had a situation like that over the past weekend, the past few days also. Right? So that's how we address it. But we, once it leaves our bank and gets to the next bank, we have no control over it. That's just how the, the, the international transfer system works. But what we know, as I said, is that we have added, we have listed all 23 players on a spreadsheet. We have listed how much money is due per game for per diem, for match fees, and then um, for the work of for bonus and incentive, right? And we have taken a total of that. And we know we, we know how much it comes to and and it obviously can come to more than the money that we've received. Right? Right. Um and and we and most of that money that we receive we paid out that way, right? Um so we we from our perspective, we have not got anybody come back to us and say, we don't get any money. If that is the case, as I'm saying, there is a there, the process is just write to the manager. The manager will then communicate or write to me directly, right? And then we will then run a check on it and reconcile it. It's a simple thing. But, you know, to hear it two months after it started disconcerting that, you know, we'd have sent the money two months ago and... You know, but we know that the money has left our account, and we know that 1.4 million US has left our account. And um, you know, because it's not a little bit of money, it, 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 you know when that leave. You know, so, and, so and, and, and Dennis, I, Dennis, here's what I'm trying to understand, Dennis. So yeah. the last time the girls he communicated with them through Fifth Pro was November 16th. So right. during this period, at, what it, at, go ahead. At that point, so they would have written to us, right? Um, with three issues right one of them was requesting not saying that and 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 this was before november 16th like about the 9th or so i think we received the first communication from fifth pro 
which they sent us a letter to say that they were representing um, these players, right? Um, signed by all the players. So, which is why I was a little confused when I heard that, you know, we weren't talking to them, but we were talking to Fifth Pro because we thought that by talking to Fifth Pro, you know, we have to, I have to write the letter to Fifth Pro today to say, well, you know, what is the situation? Because you're representing to us that you're representing them, but we are hearing different. So we want to know from Fifth Pro what the situation is. So we've written to them can, on can, that. Can you, just tell the, can you just tell the audience what Fifth Pro is? Fifth Pro is the union that represents um, professional players internationally. All right? Um, so they've asked Fifth Pro to represent, and Fifth Pro wrote to us with a letter signed by 18 persons to say, we are we are we are being represented by fifth pro right so we thought that we were in dealing with fifth pro that we were dealing with the the players but you know based on what has transpired obviously that's not the case so we had to write to fifth pro and say please clarify this for us because you know we want to make sure that representation is true um so 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 so, so wait but dennis in terms of expediency there's a communication mm -hmm. Is the, yeah. is the communication with Fifth Row just by email or is there also phone calls? It's by email. It's by it's by email because they they written they wrote, wrote to us by email. And I like the email because the email is is uh, documented evidence. But the email you know, does provide an audit trail. I would agree, but it's also very yeah. personal, right? And if yeah, you want to engage yeah, but, with someone, you got to build relationships in that engagement model to facilitate. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, 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 back, yeah, right? yeah. So, so I mean, the relationship. I mean, over the period, I would have spoken to the representative from the regular girls. I don't have to speak right. to the person from Fifth Row. Okay, that's what I mean. So, I, I, I have conversations with the representative that was was um, was from the regular girls' point of view, but I don't have to speak okay. to Fifth Row. I, 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 and especially since Fifth Row wrote to me <clears throat> and proposed to me the three representatives and said to me in that letter that they, Fifth Pro, will be representing them in the meeting as their legal representative, right? To which point I propose a date for a meeting and I don't have a response from Fifth Pro yet. So I, I wrote to them and I said, you know, what's happening with this, right? Now, recall now, one of the issues that came up is that um, after we were trying to get the call up for the Panama match, the first um, Gold Cup qualifier. Dennis, Dennis, don't, 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 don't go there yet, Dennis. I, I want to close. When we go to these topics, I want to close them down. Yeah. There's no further mm -hmm. conversation. So let's stay on the payment issue. So yeah. did you receive any communication from the, rep the initial representative you engaged with and our fifth row about any player not receiving Payments. So let's go back over this. Payments are in no, 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 no. Okay. No. What I received so, so, is so a request. So there's a per diem match fee incentive bonus. There was no communication that payment hasn't been received by any girl. No, no, I haven't. I haven't received any. And, and your account doesn't receive any. You're, you're, no one at JFF. No, sometimes no. doesn't come to you. No, 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 no. So, so, so the communication mm -hmm. that came in, particularly from Fifth Pro, just mentioned that they're requesting payment details, but nothing well, about. Not, that not, not that anyone has not been paid. Because no, no, the reason no, why no, I go back no. to the thing about formula, Dennis was Bonnie said some people were overpaid. And I guess why yes. I was asking about the reconciliation. About, about nine the, persons. About about nine persons were overpaid. Did they return the overpayment? No. So they haven't sent back the over. Do we know what the overpayment was? And have we yeah, agreed yes. overpayment yes. number? Yes, yes, we know what it is. Yeah. So I mean, we, we sent the money I, back. Have I, they I, sent I, the money back. To no, no, no. Based on the fact that we're trying to get exact numbers, I expect that it's it's going to be sent back. So I I'm, I don't have no fear about that. Okay. Um, okay. Right, right. Because there was some, there was some, um, the, the the in terms of the formula, right? Um, for the initial nine payments that were done, um, there was some overpayment. Um, How would yeah. a girl know um, if she was overpaid? How would she? Huh? Did, you, did you guys tell them they were overpaid? How would yeah, you yeah, yeah. Overpaid? Yeah, we 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 communicated it um, through the manager, right? 
But I mean, so we, we know was, that there was, there was money communication through the manager. Then there were payments information being communicated through the manager. Then yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Statements were sent through there through the manager. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so all the statements were sent. What they've asked for is details of it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what so, are you doing? So, Taking that spreadsheet and just communicate what's in the spreadsheet and the statements to them. Yeah, but but what we what we do want to do, you see, because we you know. We we remember one of the things that we have to manage is we have to deal with each person's information privately. Right. So we don't want to send a spreadsheet to one person for everybody. No, no, no. I didn't I didn't mean that. What I meant was yeah. that if the spreadsheet is comprised of individual right. payouts, we, that, that's why that that's yes. why if we know who says they haven't been paid or, or then or, or there's a missing thing we can always go back to it and say no hey this is the computation right okay. but if un until we receive that then we couldn't we, we don't know who to communicate with about that right but we can do that now one of the things i've asked them to do which i think that the manager has started to send it out is some details right mm -hmm. so we want to send out some details because some 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 real minutia is being requested so we can send that out right so um, as, you, that is, that is, as you send that out here's a suggestion as you send it mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. should be a communication to each player indicating the amount sent to them the amount paid to them and a positive confirmation not negative that they have either received or not received the money yeah 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 we can we can do that um you know, but but you know, one of the things that I maybe the assumption was that you know, if I send you a statement and say, "Cranky, I've sent you five dollars," and you don't get it, then you would say, "Hey, I don't get it." But negative confirmation yeah. as we know, Dennis, sometimes doesn't work, right? Yeah, negative yeah, yeah. We can we can ask for that. That's not a problem, right? But yeah. what we would love to do, if there is an issue, we would love to reconcile that issue. Right, and we because we, we're we're pretty confident about the numbers that we have. Right, we're pretty confident knowing that the money has left our account, um, and that it was sent quite a while ago. So it would have been returned to our account if there was an error. And we're pretty confident that the, the bank account information that we've used, we've used that bank account information to send money before. Right. right. So it's a new so, bank account information that we've used. So, so I mean, so let, we, let me, we, let me, let me are, close down the payment. Let me close on the payment issue because I yeah. think we have other things we want to talk about. So, what you're saying, I want no ambiguity in this comment, which is all the payments owed to the girl, match fee, per diem, bonus, incentive. We didn't really talk about incentive, but incentive that there's that there's guarantee to them because something may be more subjective about whether they should pay it or not. All right. that they're due, they have been paid but you haven't received positive confirmation from them that they have received it and no one and has come back to you right right no one's come back to you and said they haven't received it right 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 okay 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 right. that's clear for payments anything right, else about right. payments you want to talk about because i think money is always something that, that people are very no i think that's about, it the so. only thing the only thing i would say is that you know we've always stated that we want this situ situation resolved because it's not something that we like to talk about. I mean, we, we want it just done and behind us. Because as I say, you know, we're focusing on 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 the, the, the match tomorrow, for example. You know, and we've been focused a lot on the, 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 the senior women's team. Um so we want to get this out of the way. So and, and that, so, that so is then, another thing. Dennis, 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 before you go, yeah. here's a question for you. Have you set a deadline? Because you have to do this, about when to resolve the there are a number of different factors and issues, right? The money is always concerning for people. If you work, you should get paid. Have you worked internally with your team? You can tell me or not tell me. And set a deadline about when you're going to resolve the monetary situation. Because either somebody get paid, didn't get paid, or the formula wasn't yeah, right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're cranky. Just... We're cranky. The deadline, you know, is remember that, uh, and I was coming back to this, that remember there was a meeting that we had called the day before. We asked them to attend a meeting the day before, and, and they, they said they couldn't make it. And after that, we said, okay, fine. You know, can you propose two dates for us? And we'll choose one. Um, we didn't hear anything. No, no dates came back to us. So then when Fifth Pro wrote us, we said, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. We are proposing December 8th. 
can you come back to us and tell mm -hmm. us if you can meet on that day? We haven't heard anything yet, right? Um, two weeks ago, someone came to us and said that, you know, hey, can you meet last week Wednesday? I said, no problem. Just write to me and let me know what time you want to meet and think because I have to mobilize my persons also. And they were told at the last minute that the Wednesday can't happen again, but it can happen Thursday, which is last week, Thursday. And then we didn't hear anything again. Mm -hmm. So as far as I'm concerned, the meeting to resolve the issues as per the, gre the grievance procedures is really where it should be dealt with. So the grievance procedure says, write to, to, to the manager and the GenSec, outlining what the issues are, right? And then let us set a meeting with three representatives from the girls, which was stated in the fifth pro letter who the three persons are, and two representatives from the JFF, at which point Fifth Pro also wrote to us in that letter, that email, right? I just responded on it to them today also, um, saying that they will also be there as a legal representative for the girls. But based on what has transpired now, I'm not even sure if Fifth Pro is a re representative for them. So I've got so, uh, to clarify uh, yeah, that. Yeah, Dennis, I'm, I'm, I'll make another suggestion in the public forum, Dennis. Yeah. Uh, there are two... I hate to put you on the spot, but I'm going to do it anyway. There mm -hmm. are too many communications via informal means. What do I mean by that? If I want to engage Dennis, I'm going to call through the phone and call him. I know it's oh, maybe outdated in today's environment. Maybe I'm old school, but I'm going to call him. Now, I agree with you. I may follow up subsequently with an email because I want it documented. Because if it's not documented, it doesn't exist, right? The call didn't occur. Even though you may have a call on your phone, you don't know what transpired in the conversation. So I would suggest going forward for the JFF with the girls, because we all want this to come to an end. It's not helping anybody. Is that there's a reach out across the table, a formal way of engaging, building relationships. What I'm not seeing, Dennis, to be honest, is the JFF and the girls breaking bread together. I'm going to use a biblical term. I see two disparate parties who are entrenched in their position communicating by some yeah but that's not means. that's not that's not but yeah. thank you that's not true that's not true as i okay. said to you before fifth pro was appointed i was speaking personally okay okay on a call that's to correct. someone who was the representative and also no, 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 no. The, Dennis, the, Dennis, I, i'm not talking about representative dennis no, i'm not talking about representative though again it's birch so bertram is a player and dennis is the gen set right right i think the gen set should have a relationship with all the players that's just me. Yeah, no, right? no, no, because, no, but yeah, yes, but yeah, but ahead. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, that's not so. Remember, you know, when we went to 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 the UK, we met with all of them, right. right? And when they came to Jamaica, we also went and met with them at the hotel. Okay. Right. Okay. And okay. and we've we've been and and they said, okay, these are our representatives to talk to. Right, so we have been talking to those persons, and I personally have been talking to them. Right, it's just in November now they say, okay, fine, this is Fifth Pro. Fifth Pro will deal with it for us. Right, so that communication has been happening, and in fact, um, two weeks ago, as I said, I met with two persons who were speaking on their behalf. Okay. Right, so it's not it's not that it has been happening, but the email. The, the, the email exchange with Fifth Pro, I think, is important because remember that we're in a grievance procedure now as according to contract. And therefore, yeah, Dennis, we have to ensure that... Dennis, you know, email can drop in a junk file. No, no, yeah. well, the, 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 yeah, but the fact that we're responding to it and communicating with it, it means it don't okay. reach a junk. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, okay. so but, we, we, we've been... We've the, been the, way, the, way things are going, the way things are going... Right now, yeah, like joke, yeah. Now, but, but I mean, this is something. As I said, as I said, as I said, if there are if there are persons who have not, who said they have not received it, just 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 send something to us. Send who it is, because as I said, I spoke to the accountant today. She said, "Who is that?" All right, because okay. we do have a spreadsheet with a list of all twenty three and it broken down per game. All right, so, so and not is, everybody would have issues? Played. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we, we, have, we have spent about an hour talking about payments. Yeah, it's so long. The key part of the topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's 625. It's like 55 minutes. So let's right. pivot a little bit to talk about what are the remaining obstacles to reconciliation between the girls and the GFF? 
Um, well, you know, I don't have any other issue that has been communicated to me. The two other issues were the matter of wanting to know the name of the, the coaching staff and the technical team. And there was one other issue. I mean, it's, it's, not, even, it's not even something that is ongoing, right? There was one other issue, but the main one had to do with the payment. But um, the, the last communication we received from, from Fifth Pro said, well, the one we received before said, spoke to payment details um, and also mistreatment. And I said to Fifth Pro, can you define for me what you mean by mistreatment? Right? Um, I haven't received anything on that. Right? What so I received... I, I, Dennis, I jotted down some things I, I pulled up from the discussion that they right. had with, with sports management. I'm going to throw out some of these. Yeah. They indicated they chose not to speak publicly. But the girls haven't really said much in the public domain. Right. Because they expected expeditious, I mean, it's my own term, or speedy resolution of the matter, which has now dragged out for months subsequent to the workup. The JFF haven't put the team in the best position to win. And I'm assuming that's part of that is history, right? Because it can't be the more subsequent. There's a right. of things that they've brought up historically. That's there. I'm just jotting down and telling you what I've read. The JFF, I'm going to use my own euphemism here, is sometimes economical with the truth. With truth. I'm going to use euphemism. You can discern what that means. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, this, um, they mentioned stuff about starting living WhatsApp group. But I think that was under a different coach. Um, the the um the stance the boycott was made by the group so the group agreed to boycott even though i've heard to the grapevine that maybe not everybody was part of that whole yeah, yeah. determination and they feel like they exercise what i call the nuclear bomb because what i call when you when you decide to boycott that's a nuclear you you've you've exhausted all means because right, they feel right. like they had no choice and this is because of a couple of things one is Unprofessionalism, lack of transparency, integrity issues. That's how they coach all of this. So if you're saying yeah, but, that but, you're not but, sure but, there's but any other it, issues, crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it. I'm just telling you what they said. I'm telling you what they said. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But this is okay. the and this is the thing that we're trying to resolve. Because okay. if someone says to me that hey, that person's unprofessional. I need to know what part of that person is unprofessional. So I need to have the details to, 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 okay, okay. to be unprofessional because right. I can't fix I can't fix somebody who they say is unprofessional. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you're right. unprofessional, or you have integrity issues because you have done this particular thing, right? It's just like if I if if you were to be dealing with an employee, right? You can't just call in the employee and say, hey, you know, I think you're unprofessional. I have right. to have, and, and even the labor code, right, specifies it. I have to have particular things that I say. So I have to say, you know what? You say when you move that cup over there, you did it the wrong way. The cup should not have been moved like that. And there is a process that you did not follow in moving that cup. But I can't say to them, boy, you know, I don't like you because you don't follow rules. Right. It, it, imagine yeah. a policeman, a policeman stop you and give you a ticket because he thinks that you don't follow rules. Right. Okay, so here's and, a question. And, that, 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 and that's the thing. Hold on, crank it. That's the thing that I want to understand. I want to know, you know, what is the specific incident because that's the only thing that we can address. And that's why we said to Fifth Pro, can you write to us and outline the issues for us? So that, because the reason why we want to know, you know, is because we want to address them, right? But if I don't know what they are, I can't address them. And, and this is why we thought that we would suspend the selection of the players because we say, okay, we know that you're, you're, you, you have some issues, but let us know. Let, let, let us resolve this first, right, so that it doesn't linger. So, you know, um, it doesn't affect 
things going forward. And that is what I want to know. I want to know what are the specific things. You know, is it that I moved this chair from A to B and it wasn't supposed to be moved from A to B, right? Or is it that there was something that was said particularly that wasn't said? Because, you know, I had this conversation recently with some staff also. I said, listen, you know, um, I can't be like some people and say, boy, I don't like how that person operate because I'm in a position of authority, right? right? When I sit down with someone, I have to say to them, listen, you know, you, you did this and you should not have done that. And because you did this, it created an issue with someone else. Or you did this and it was in violation of what you were supposed to do. You understand what I'm saying, Cranky? No, I understand. But here's, here's the thing, Dennis. Here's a question <laughs> I want to ask you. Here's the thing I want to yeah. ask you, which is, how does one... It seems like we, we are set in where we are in between the girls and the JFF. It's a contract no, no, like no, 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 no. We're not set. Okay. And we constantly say, and the president says also all the time, we want to resolve the issue, but we don't. We have to know what the issue is. So you see, like they say, some persons were not paid. I need to. I want to know who, because remember, I have sent all the money that I think I I have to send. So I want to know who were the persons who were not paid, not because of any other reason than to rectify it. So that remember, you know, we we, we have to assume we can assume that the JFF um did not send the money right because it could have been sent by the bank it could have been in the person's account right and they don't realize it right it could have been sent by the bank and their bank gets the money and don't and don't and don't um credit it to but their dennis, account then, then, dennis dennis these are not these are not um epl players so if they get thirty five thousand in their account I would expect them to realize that it's there. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just pointing. I'm just, I'm just saying. You understand what I'm saying? So, no, so therefore, and, and that's why I say I want to know. I genuinely want to know because I have an accountability to FIFA, to you know. So if FIFA send me money and say pay these people, I need to ensure that it's there. So I want to know. So I, I mean, it, I mean, so you know, let's, 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 let's touch on that point. Let's touch on that point, Atelier. Did you yeah. send FIFA communication saying you have paid the money? Yes. Okay. Yes. We told what them because them? what is what exactly what you told them or you sent them something, some evidence? No man, we we we, we they would we sent them the computation. Remember that we computed this with FIFA, you know. The okay. computation sheet was done in conjunction with FIFA <clears throat> and with the Australian tax office. Right. Okay. right. So it's not something that we sit down and do by ourselves. We sent the contract to them and the computation was done based on that. Right. And then we would have said, okay, this is the amount of money. Right. And it is at that point now that we're short about 300 and something tons before we got the final amount. And we still haven't got the final amount yet. Right. That they said, okay, we will give you that 300 and something thousand dollars and you use that and pay them. We got that money and within two days it was paid. So can the girls, does the girls have tribunal in FIFA where they can go to if they don't get their payment? Of course. Of course. Okay. So they could compare to FIFA then versus in the public domain? Yes, the yes, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, they can. Have, any, have, any, have anyone got the FIFA based on your knowledge today? No, 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 no. And that's why I'm saying the first thing I would think that needs to happen is to just come to me, come to JFF and say, hey, you tell me that you send me $5, but I don't see the $5. At that point, I would say, look, I would say, first of all, you can come to me and say, hey, you know what? I get $11 and I think I should get $12. And then we can say, okay, fine. Let's go through the thing individually. There are just 23 persons, right? So we can go right. through the thing individually with 23 players if they want and say, okay, this is what we've paid you for, <clears throat> right? X, Y, Z, right? And point out all the computations to everyone, right? And we're prepared to do that. 
Um, the other thing is that if I said to you, I send you five dollars. If you don't receive it, please come to us because we want to know that the money go to the right place too. Yeah, but, but what Dennis, we know is, is there any possibility, Dennis? Is there any possibility mm -hmm. the money went to a destination other than other than its intended in destination or purpose? Suppose suppose Cranky decided to send it to him on at home. Do we know if yeah. that occurred? Well, we don't know, but and that because remember, you know, it doesn't necessarily. The, the, I mean, banking, banking transactions mess up all the while, right? So, what is no, the no, check no, and no, balance? I'm, about banking. I'm talking about fraudulent transaction occurring. Oh, I'm fraudulent? Yes. No, so no, 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 no. But how can you be no. so sure? How can you be so sure? Well, well, I can never be sure of that. But what I know is that we would have. When when I looked at all of the transfer forms, right, and remember, you know, when you when you send in money to a bank account, it is not just the account number that is the control. You know, you have to have the name correct either. I don't know if you ever tried transfer money yet, and you put the incorrect name on it, <clears throat> right? I mean, just like a matter we had about two weeks ago, right? We we we, we tried to transfer some money right, um, to a hotel when the boys were going to Canada. And the name was spelled incorrectly, and they returned the money. So the control is account number, the name, and the words must match the amount. So there are, there are quite a few controls. And when I looked at the transfer forms, it had all the names. Okay. Right? So I couldn't have sent it to an account that did not have that name on it. Or that money would have come back to me, right? So I know no, I had. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm but, I, but I, I, I mean, I, I think I think it's a good question that you ask. So right? here's a question so for I, the audience. For the audience, we have over 200 people in the audience. If you have any more yeah. money question, because I think I've exhausted the money thing. Time to talk <laughs> about the money thing. We have other things we want to talk about. Yeah. Dennis doesn't have unlimited time. Please post in the chat, and I will try to pose it. So here, Dennis, let's pivot a little bit to the yeah. engagement with the girls, because. Everybody's frustrated about the lack of progress to reconcile between the girls. So here's my first question. Is there clear delineation of roles and responsibilities in the contract and being articulated between what the girls' roles are and what the JFF role is? Yeah, man, Just it is. So, as okay. I said, the, 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 it, it is, it does... It does state what the different roles are, but it, but the, where we are now is that grievance proceed, and that is why we want to follow the contract. We want to ensure okay. that we go according to what has been laid out, which is uh, uh, something be written to us explaining what the issues are. It doesn't mean that when you have the meeting that different issues cannot be brought up, but what it does is that certainly... When I have the information up front, then when I get to the meeting, I'm prepared to address them or address them before, right? Once that is done, right? In fact, it says that you first write to the manager. If you get no resolution there, then you write to the GenSec. And then you go into, if you get no resolution, you go into a meeting. It says the player should name three representatives, one from Europe, one from North America and one from Jamaica. So it, 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 it ensures that all three regions are represented by the representatives. The Jeff, what it do doesn't from, mean that. What do you mean from Jamaica? What do you mean from Jamaica? Are they born in Jamaica or they no, reside no. in Jamaica? How well, does that, how does that go? no, 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 no. Persons representing Jamaica. Because remember, we have oh, players that come okay. from players that will come from Jamaica. You have players that come from Europe. Players that okay, come so right. It's, it's, where, it's so, where you're local. Where you're locally original. Okay, okay. Right, right. So you want you want to make sure that there's a representation right across. And I thought it was well thought out in the contract. And then the JFF is supposed to have two representatives, and then you have a committee of five. It doesn't mean that you can't have more persons, but you have a committee of five that deals with all contractual issues, which payment obviously would be one of them. And there are some other things in there 
like flights. Oh, right. Flights was brought up. That was the first thing that was brought up. And as I indicated to the response, we arrange flights according to contract. And we have never gone below the contract in terms of arranging flights. In fact, we have gone above the contract in arranging flights. That was the third issue, right? And then right. you have that, that, that committee, and that is where we are now. So something has been written to us, right? And we are saying, we, we initially said propose two dates. Those dates were never proposed. And then we, if we said through Fifth Pro, which has, again, as I'm saying, I'm not sure Fifth Pro is communicating it, but we said December 8th, which we haven't gotten a response. And even with that, we were able, we were willing to facilitate a meeting last week, Wednesday and Thursday, and we didn't get a response on that. So where we are now is that we are awaiting feedback, right? And as I said, I wrote to Fifth Pro again today, and I said, listen, I expressed my concern about representation, and um, if there is, if there is, if there is, um, if there is to be resolution, let's have this meeting. Right, and that meeting was proposed for December eighth, which is, I think, Friday coming up. Right, but we haven't no, gotten so any, so any Dennis, response. Dennis, that. But Dennis, Dennis, let me stop you there, Dennis. A couple of things. One is, mm -hmm. I have a bunch of questions, but here's the first one, which is, yeah, if you hear Bunny and Becky speak, and I'm not trying to be for, too familiar with Becky, so I'm going to use Rebecca, that's your, your official name. They mm -hmm. seem to suggest they have no inclination, idea about a meeting. Right. Well, and so that, you're that is why eight, they that, have been informed. That, but that is why, right? So initially, the first two dates that we proposed was on an email that we sent to the girls because Fifth Pro didn't come into it yet, right? Or we requested that they provide two dates to us, right? Which we didn't get. But then that is why I'm saying now that, you know, I'm, con I'm questioning whether Fifth Pro is communicating the information to them. But we were told by an email and signed letter by 18 that Fifth Pro is the representative. Now, right. if Fifth Pro is not the representative, then that's a problem, but that's what we were told. And we, we have been diligently communicating with Fifth Pro as the person stated to be representative. Right? Because they Dennis, have Dennis, 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 let me just say this. I'm going to take you guys to yeah. task for this. If you're sending communication by some written mode to fifth, fifth pro, and there's three persons designated to visit the girl, why aren't right. they CC'd on this communication? They were designated to be representatives at the meeting. So they were the three persons designated no, no, to be representatives. Understand that. So when you send fifth pro communication, why aren't they also CC'd on it? So you know all the representative body for the girls, whether it's fifth pro, who's your primary contact, all the girls will be elected, I assume, by the girls. Why yeah, they cranky, CC cranky, 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 yeah, if, if, yeah. if, if you say to me that my lawyer is handling all of my things, right. I don't need to re even copy you, you know. Because um, you would no. have written to me. No, you would have written to me and said, my lawyer has power of attorney. Right. But here's my thing. Dennis, here's, here's my view on that, Dennis, cranky. which is this. Crank, crank, all right, crank yeah. Don't want to stop your line of questioning, Mr. Chung. Good night. I have, I have Neil. Yeah, man. Just wanted to introduce Neil. Neil is on, but I have. Yeah, man. I was going to ask a question that he have for the people who are saying fifth is not fifth is F I F. They have just removed the A from FIFA. Right, right. It's fifth pro. pro. Right, fifth. F -I -F right. F I F P R O. So let me just clarify that. All right. Yeah, so yeah. Mr. Chung has seen that fifth pro is the representative for the girls. Uh, Neil has this question. Have they said to the JFF, said to you, written to you to say, <clears> we <throat> have girls who have not yet been paid? We, we went about that already. We went about that already. No, 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 no. All right. So here's my next question. Do you believe that there could be a legitimate case where of the 24 girls? 23. 23. So some of them have received no <laughs> money whatsoever. Is, is there any possibility, any way that that could happen? The, the, only way, the only way that could happen is if when it gets to their bank, that their bank don't send it to them. Because it has left our accounts. 
So, 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 so Dennis, Dennis, do me a favor, Dennis. I don't, I don't want to say it myself. There, people have joined the chat at different points in time. So we've been over all of this. So okay. can you just summarize what you have said about the payment to date so that everyone who has joined people recently can understand what you have said? Just a very brief summary as to the payment situation with the girls. Now you're repeating yourself, but please do that. Dennis, you there? You there? Yeah, you yeah. There? So I'm saying that, um, yeah, I'm saying that we have done a very detailed spreadsheet in terms of per game by player and we have computed the total from that. And then we have sent all of that off. We did a transfer form individually for players and sent to the bank of which I checked the names on the transfer forms and before I approve them that they go to the bank. And those approvals were done and sent to the bank two months ago. <clears throat> right? The account numbers that we use, the bank account numbers that we use are the bank account numbers that were verified and also the ones that we have been paying to before. So we've been paying money to those account numbers before without any issue. Right? And we got them verified also. So if there is an issue, it means that when our bank sent the money, it means that the bank that it was sent to would not have credited the accounts or it means that the money was paid but the money um there's an oversight in terms of it seeing going in but from our point of view we are satisfied that it has been sent now if there is a concern let us know as i said to the accountant today when i called her she said who is saying that because i've paid everybody right let us know who the persons are, and we can reconcile on a game by game um, basis what payments have been made that add up to that. So, if we sent eleven thousand US, for example, this is apart from the the um, the the the, the thirty five thousand from FIFA for the bonus, we can say this is what the eleven thousand US represents. Right, so if we if we would love to get that information, and and that and I don't well, you know I am questioning whether Fifth Pro really represent them now. But if Fifth Pro still represent them, then they should send it to us and say, hey, these are the ones that we have challenges with, and we gotta reconcile. We we'll just reconcile it right away because those twenty three players, and just send it to them and say, this is the situation. What we didn't want to do is send the spreadsheet to everybody because it contains private information. So we don't want to send that to everybody. So I think, guys, everyone in the chat, I mean, I hope that summarizes for you the payment situation. Here's another question for you, Dennis, which is this. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting beaten in the chat. Someone is telling me, um, James, whatever his name is, saying, I'm asking for too much for you to CC the three representatives for the girls because your communication is fifth pro. But people, you got to understand this. Extenuating circumstances and situation call for extending measures and no no cranky cranky i don't yes, agree with you i agree I, but, but we can agree I, to disagree I, then is we can no yeah but I, I agree with pb as i said um the the three representatives were named for the meeting the representative that was signed in the letter to represent right. them was fifth pro no, I understand that. So, I understand that, Dennis. Dennis. Yeah. So, so you're still I, getting so, beaten, so, Dennis, Dennis, you're still getting unbeaten in the public domain because of what I deem to be lack of what is deemed to be adequate communication. So no, but the, uh, the, the no, there's no, there, there, there's yeah. no lack of communication. You said to me that Manning's man is my representative. Deal with him, right? When people are dealing with with transactions to purchase through lawyers. They don't copy the person who is the lawyer representing Dennis, either. Dennis, 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 Dennis. This is not a normal, everyday no, contractual no, situation. It's no, just I don't, I, I don't agree with you, man. No, no, well, no. Wait, no. I, said we can, I, Dennis, I said we can agree to disagree. Yeah, I don't <laughs> agree. agree. I understand. Can, 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 can I imagine? Can I imagine? Normal, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. In a normal operating environment, I would agree with you. This is not normal. Yeah, but this is, no, but this is a contractual <laughs> thing, too. And I, the people I understand. Say, 
The people say, but listen, is. Manning's man. If, 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 uh, in fact, if you say Manning's man represent you and I was doing Manning's man, then I copy mm. you. I am insulting Manning's man. No, no, no. Dennis, 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 Dennis means Dennis, that Dennis. Manning's man is not a good Dennis. representative. Dennis, we're, we're at an impasse, right? <laughs> this has been going on since the summer. We have made no progress. In fact, we have regressed. No, I don't agree with you. I don't agree that we have made progress. The fact of the matter is that since the summer, we've made the payments, right? <laughs> and we have had communication. Okay. And, and to the point where we're saying, let us have a meeting. That is progress. But, but the is girls progress. say they, they have they, no they, meeting dates. The girls, Dennis, I think you should go back and watch the, the, the cause you have had a chance probably to look at it. The interview with Bunny and Rebecca. Listen, Rebecca listen, Arnold's listen. Voice well, voice. And, and that is why I'm, but that don't mean it's progress. It's no progress because the progress for me in this now is that I am questioning whether Fifth Pro is a representative or not then. Mr. Chong, and, and, Frank, and that, that, that is progress for me because it means for me you now that I must say to boy, boy, I wonder if Fifth Pro really is, is the real <laughs> deal. Let, let but true. That's what I have to ask. Mr. Chung, I have, I have, I have Neo. Neo, um, um, he's having some technical yeah. issues, Frankie. Mm -hmm. So let, let, let him ask a couple of questions because you're okay. there, Neo. I, I know you're Yeah, man. Go ahead, right. go ahead, Neo. All right. Let's wait until he comes back. But um, I understand that you can correct me mm -hmm. if I'm wrong. That nine yeah. of the girls were nine of the girls were overpaid. <clears throat> All right. Yes. 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 All right. It, isn't that a suggestion? then the, that the method for calculating the payments is inaccurate. And that could mean... No, 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 no. There was... The reason why that occurred is because there was um, a, an, an, a, 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 an error on just those nine, but it did not affect the other amounts. It's okay. just those nine. And when we caught it, it's just those nine. So that money would have come out of JFF money, not out of those monies. Okay. And, and you said yeah, that yeah, yeah. Sort of calculation would not have reduced the payments for others. It just added extra payment to nine. Right, oh. right, 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 right. Didn't reduce it. Oh, so, oh. So, 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 Dennis, here's a question for you. How, yeah, do, we have a, do we have an inventory? Of the girls' grievances, one and secondly, does the JFF have any grievances themselves that they, they need to resolve with the girls? So it's twofold. We only talk about the girls' grievances. Yeah, yeah. Do you have well, grievances well, you need that, to resolve that, with them also. Well, the the only one that I could, the, the, as I said, the the only three that were specific was number one to deal with the payments, right, which we've addressed substantially. Number right. two to deal with wanting to know the name of the staff and the technical team before they made themselves available. And number three, to wanting to, to, to ensure that the proper travel arrangements that were put in place, which I said, those tra all travel have always been dealt with according to contract. The contract states how travel should be dealt with and it has always been dealt with. And those are the three specific things the other things that were written about from Fifth Pro is that there was mistreatment. And I wrote back to them and said, can you tell me what you mean by mistreatment? Because I can't fix mistreatment unless it's a spelling error. Right. Okay. So right. if, you're saying, if, you're, if you're saying payments, which you're saying still need to be resolved because right. some girls said they haven't gotten paid, but you're saying most have gotten paid. Well, no, I am staff. saying, no, 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 no. I'm not saying most have gotten paid. I'm saying from where we stand, all have gotten yes, paid. Yes, yes, yes. Let and me ask okay, all have gotten paid. All uh, gotten Mr. Paid. Mr. Chung, yeah. let me ask this question. How are you able to give us, because you can't tell us the specific. I think you can't tell us the specific as to how much this person get, that person get. No. What is, it, what is it, can you tell us, though, seeing that some of this money would have come out of the World Cup and figures were out there, 1.6, 1.4. Can you 1. tell 4. us what, mm -hmm. so the total amount of payments? And this is to is this to the twenty three girls or to the twenty three? Twenty three, twenty three, twenty three. So the one point four million dollars was paid out to the twenty three or to the forty. Twenty three, twenty three. So what about the others who played in the lead up to it? Because that that, that 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 was a different amount. 
So one point four million dollars in total was paid. Yeah, but that 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 included no no no. Listen, that included the bonus money. So it was inflated substantially because of that money. Yeah, including bonus money. You are saying tonight that twenty three players got portions of money totaling one point four million U.S. dollars. Yeah, yeah. So let's do an average, Mr. Cho. So it is 23 divided by 14, don't it? All right, so on average, because we, we can just break it down on average, because I'm, I'm going somewhere. So, so, so let's go 1.4 million, right? You know, we, we, we're putting the calculator. I mean, we're an accountant, and you probably have this long time. But yeah, it's approximately $61,000 in total. It's approximately right, so 61000 US. And of course, approximately. Would be taken out. So say that fifty percent of this goes out in taxes. Just, just no, this was net. Of, this was net of tax, you know. Net of taxes. Oh, net of tax. Okay, so yeah, one, yeah. So each you're saying, an average each would get approximately sixty thousand. No, I wherever the money came from, sixty thousand dollars will not be just floating in the atmosphere. If the money was sent from one account and it is not picked up in the other account. <clears throat> most financial institution would send it back to the account that it came out of after right a time right and, and and we have we have we haven't seen it so so which is why the assumption is that you know it 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 it, it is as has been paid you know but but as i said you know i mean for me the most important thing is to resolve this issue mm -hmm. right so yeah. i want to know what the details are and and i wrote to fifth pro and say, you know, provide me with the information. Give me the details. I actually sent that today, right, of it. And, and then we can check it back. Because for the important thing, you know, Manningsman is, and, and Cranky, is that we resolve this thing with us. With, but but, you know, know, but Dennis, is, Dennis, Dennis, it goes mm -hmm. back to my earlier point that I've been beating to death in this conversation. If the money was, made, was paid, say, two months ago, we're now in December, there is not effective communication between the team. You have to change how you communicate. There has to be. Yeah, but crank it, crank. Hold on, no, crank it, crank it. Come on. What do you want us to do in terms of communicate? Be, be the adults in the room. <laughs> and do what? And do what? And do what? That's another statement you're making, like a general statement. What meaning? What? Yes, yeah. So what, what that means? So I have a fifth pro person who's a conduit, and it's, it's right. like you're doing a relay in school. You're doing a relay in primary school. Right. You pass the button to four people and the message I got around is a different message than what you started with. So what do you do? I go directly to the source. Yeah, but then, the but, but then, but then says, cranky, 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 yeah. come on. No, no. If you yeah. said to me that Manning's man is your representative and I go around Manning's man and go to you, what that mean? That means it's not working. That's what that means. No, it's not but, working. I have to change that, it. That's, yeah, but, but what I'm saying is that you said to me to communicate with me, talk to Manning's man, and I Dennis, and I ignore Dennis, Manning's Dennis, man and come talk to you. Dennis, Dennis, let me let me say this, Dennis. Let me say this, Dennis. Manning's just listen to this. You mentioned three main things. It was payments, it was flights, right? right. Travel arrangement, and there was some technical thing about staff and naming convention. Right, right, right. So if you if you if you break those down, the material item is the payments. You see the payments is right. done. Right. There's a lack of communication about so the girls are saying some people have been paid. You say they have been paid. There's a miscommunication. And this is yeah, months but, in but the, the miss yeah, but but cranky, the miscommunication is really that we just need to get the details. If I said to you, right, and look, I'll come back to it again that cranky, here's a statement. Right, your right. bank. When your bank, when wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you when you work somewhere, are you are are uh, and you get paid? Do they come back to you and to confirm that you received the money? No, but but no, I don't have but, but, no, but and that's and that's the point. That's the point I'm making. Right? If no, I no, no, if no, but someone, but Dennis, is, but Dennis, 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 Dennis. Here's my problem with this whole conversation. We are treating this as if it's normal everyday circumstances. But but we, but we cranky, have you have but but cranky, no. But what I'm saying to you, I pay you, I compute something and I pay you, and I say, Cranky, 
here is a statement that I have paid you five dollars. Right. Right? Yep. And I have made sure that the money has left my account. I've made sure that the approval on the transfer is correct. Yep. Right? And I said to you, Cranky, I have paid you five dollars. If you don't receive the five dollars, you're not gonna come back to me and tell me you don't receive it. All right, Mister, that's that's true. But let let me let me bring it to the next way because I have done my own research and my own digging because you, you yeah. know I've I've been accused of being biased. So I'm yeah. actually digging, right? So I know when it comes when it comes on to the statement, of course, with the payment there was a statement provided. Yeah. In, in, in fairness, some of the young ladies live in the United States. Some of them are in college. And they require a way more detailed statement for the purpose of taxation in the places that they are, which is outside of what the statement that was sent to them outlined. So how does that get dealt with? Because is it an individual basis or because you send something, you know, but some do not believe it is sufficient for the taxation purposes in the jurisdiction. But mine is, mine is just a different question, though. It's a different question, right? Okay. There are two questions okay. here. There is the question about did I get the money at all? There's the question of how do we what's the classification in that statement so I can appropriately file my tax return? That's two different questions. First, I gotta receive the money, right? Receive it in my account. And we're hearing from another party saying some girls haven't received it. And what Dennis is saying is, well, they have sent the money out. This is months now in the man's mind. This is not a week enough, but they haven't received it. So that needs to be reconciled. And the second, what you're saying is the statements sent may not be as detailed as they need to be for the classification as to what going what tax buckets can right. be done by the accountants for those girls. Right? Well, this is the first, this is the first request I'm getting for information for tax. All right. Okay. Oh, right. So oh, I mean oh, I, I can oh, I can oh, understand that. Yeah, yes, yes. You if, are if it, it, I think I think what is happening is this because I, I have someone who have said, for example, <clears throat> they have asked this was asked some months ago. So I think, and this is what Cranky keeps coming back to. I think communication is a is a serious issue. I'm going to give you an example, Mr. Chung, of why I think how things are communicated. I think both of you need to meet almost every time. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Is that person, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me finish, you know, because I don't get and, it. Don't and, get and the, point, you know. Listen, let me finish, yeah. let me finish, I got, because I need to give you this example. You said that there is a meeting on the 8th. We have proposed a meeting for the 8th. Propose, propose, with whomever. When, when, right. when, when, when Miss Shaw spoke, she said that there is a meeting, the, the meeting that you know about, they were told that there May, should be a meeting after these set of games. You had a date. Which is the eighth. No. Which is the eighth. We, we, right. You know, but that is any time. It could be the eighth, it could be the tenth, the fifteenth, the twentieth. Both are you are right. Both are you, you know, are right. But when, when she says the only listen, meeting. Listen, you guys, you guys are making up stories. No, Dennis, we tell you what the girl said. But, not making up stories. No, yeah, but listen, but listen, but listen, listen, listen. So what my facts are is that I <clears throat> proposed to Fifth Pro after they sent to me the three representatives for the meeting. I proposed a meeting on the 8th of December. That is after the games. In terms of other dates, I don't get anything on any other dates. What I propose oh, is I said, weird. hey, Dennis let us meet on the 8th. All right, Nia is right, saying, is, is saying yeah. Frank, because Nia was on to say this. He says, Fifth Pro, as a representative, needed to verify payment and reconcile with the JFF before Mr. Chung made any statement to the press. What do you think about that, Mr. Chung? Because I think that's what one of the things Nia wanted to say when he was on. No, and, and I think, you know, you know, I really, I think that's an excellent suggestion by, by Neil, right? Um, that... You know, it, it, it could, the, 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 the reconciliations could be done with them. But, you know, they have to request it from us because, um, you know, as I said, we were not aware that there were issues of people not receiving it. 
So if FitPro come to us, and that was never in any communications to us, and say, hey, we want to reconcile these things with you. We have no problem with that. We will gladly do that. And that's an excellent suggestion by you, and maybe that's the way to do it. You know, and I'll propose it to them, to Fifth Pro, that, hey, you know, we can actually reconcile this with you, right? But, you know, the other, the other thing is, you know, to, um, you know, can we, well, let's say that Fifth Pro is their representative, which I'm not even sure of now, to be honest with you. But it, it, it's just a matter of sharing information. But we can certainly propose, we can certainly sit down with them and say, listen, this is how we have done the competition for everything. No problem with that. It's, it's easier that way. So that's Dennis, a good another suggestion. Question for you, Dennis. Here's another question for mm -hmm. you, which is, I asked this question before, before you go to this proposed meeting for which a date is not being agreed, does both sides have an inventory and prioritize the key thing that they get to resolve to break this impasse? Call the 18th well, next week, you know, Dennis. Listen, the date has not been accepted. I, we have proposed the date. No, no, your, your proposed date, date is next week, right? Your proposed date is next week. I should my say. proposed date, and this is what we need to understand. So I don't want us to leave here, right, saying that there is a meeting on the 8th. We have pro <laughs> okay. proposed a meeting for the 8th, and we haven't gotten any confirmation in terms of so inventory. Regard, regardless of the date, Dennis, regardless of the date. Yeah, yeah, go to the inventory. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> So, as I said to you, I told you the things that we have been written to about. So, that's the extent of the inventory that we know, right? right. Um, in terms of from our side, we don't really have anything that we want to, to discuss, right? Um, um, you know, I'd have to speak to... To, to other representatives also. But we, we, we really don't have anything. What we want to do is we want to resolve the issues that are raised with right. us and listen to the representatives. That's what that's that's really what we want to do. You know, because I mean we don't want to be constantly going about this. As I said, the main focus for me right now is the game tomorrow. Right. You know, but, which but, is a lot of the, 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 the year. The main focus for us, we want to support the girls tomorrow. But we want to break this impasse and get back to the business of the reggae girls holistically versus people in their siloed way just how we're operating. We don't want to have two sets of reggae girls. We want one set of reggae girls. No, we but as JFS. far as... as far, listen, listen. Yeah, but, but listen, but listen. I don't know why people look at it like that, you know. As far as we are concerned, you know, we don't have two sets of girls, you know. We sent out when we sent out the call up. Listen, 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 listen. This is something that's been created as two sets. We don't have it. We look at all girls who are available for Jamaica as a pool of girls that we choose from. No team remains the same. Then it's not right? the When we sent out the call, when we sent out the call. No, Dennis, when we no sent up the call, no, no, Dennis, I disagree I don't, with you. Uh, listen, 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 listen. I can't speak to how they think. I am telling you what the reality is. When we sent out the call, up, we sent it out to forty-seven girls. I understand, Dennis. Listen, I understand. we cannot, we cannot listen, listen. No, 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 no. I have to disagree with it. We cannot have a situation where we feel that there is a set of girls or a set of boys who are always going to be on a team. They don't work like that. You, you know it don't work like that. If you look at any country across the world, they don't operate like that. You might have persons who are core and likely to be in a team, but they don't necessarily have to be in a team. What we have to do is we have to ensure that everybody is available. And we see it on the boys' side also where the coach has a database of players. Right, he has a core, Dennis, but Dennis, he's Dennis, constantly Dennis, looking Dennis, for Dennis. new players. But right. Dennis, yeah. if you, if you, Dennis, if you sit at the public domain, you're gonna be seen to be disingenuous. I'm telling you. Dennis, why? Look, why look, is that Dennis, disingenuous? Dennis, 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 it's disingenuous because if I have a, if I have, if I have Manchester United team or Arsenal team, and my top six, seven, eight players decide not to play, and you tell me, no, 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 it's my first team I'm playing. I'm gonna say really. No, no, it didn't. no I didn't say. I didn't say that. I, I didn't no, no, say no, that. I, I, no, I, I, this is my words. That's my words. That's my words. Right. Right. What I, I said you, Dennis, because Dennis, you, Dennis, you, Dennis, you, Dennis, but you, Dennis. no, no, no. Hold on. You said cranky. 
the two teams, and I said there are no two teams. There are, there are no the two one. sets of girls. There is, there is a pool of players. No, you are correct that there are some players who are strong players, and you'll always seek to go to those players, right, based on the knowledge. But, I mean, easily, and, 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 and we see it on the boys' side, a, a, a new player can come up, you know, that can be a better player. Yeah, Our two Dennis, new players can come back and be better players. Dennis, about, Dennis listen, you're about aberrations, Dennis, not let's the norm. Not, yeah, let's not get into the, the technical thing. We need, we need it, right? So, here's what <laughs> I want to ask you, Mr. Trump. Come to, because, because pertinent to this is that, for whatever reason, yeah. the, the young ladies, they felt like, to the leaders, because they said that there's a leadership group of six, all right? Six of them are in the leadership group, and um, and that came out because the whole meeting thing was done. So they felt a need, for whatever reason, that they had to address stuff that they would have heard in the public domain. They have representatives, and the, the JFF is there. So now that they have come out and they said things publicly, you are here now, and you are you are also um, saying that. Listen, if that is said, let us know. Yeah. Would you be averse to, though they have representative, because you're making the point, but they said speak to their representative, but their representatives did not speak publicly. They did. Would you be averse to Monday morning, first order of business, I am going to get, try and get these two young ladies on the phone, ask them about their assertions, and ask them, would you be willing to share the information with us of those who have not gotten any money at all, we can look into it and resolve it. Would you be Management, as I indicated, I have already written to Fifth Pro and said to them, can you please provide us with the details? <laughs> so I have already asked yeah. that information, you know. Okay, because I'm just thinking like the fact that they came out is just like you said earlier, you know, Cranky is my lawyer. But but I said Cranky represent me. But then I did a, I do an interview. I, I did an interview which is really saying that I have I have gone against my 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 legal representation. So now I've opened the door for communication. Yeah, but 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 listen, we still have to respect the process, you know. Okay. And this, right. what, this is what we don't understand. We have a process that is outlined in contract. And we can't, on the one hand, not respect the process and expect others to respect it. Okay. We is, have, to be, is, we have, we have we to be being, formal we are, about we are it. Being, we are being robotic in following a process which has been ineffective. It's not no, the, it's no, 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 that's not true. That is not true. The process has not been followed yet. And that is why we've been ineffective. If we had followed the process, we would not have been ineffective. Well, the process would the have process, been, Dennis. The process has not been followed. If we follow the process, we will be effective. So that's not true. That is the issue well, we have because because all the issues you see if we had from from last year followed the process in the contract, we would have been able to resolve a lot of these things from long time. But we have right, not let, been let, following let, the let, process. Let me rephrase, let me rephrase my comment. The execution of the process has been ineffective. So you may have a stipulated process, it's documented, it's agreed, but it's been circumvented. What, so what, and, and, and that's the point I'm making. The reason okay. why we have the challenge is because we're circumventing it. But if we said, okay, let us have a meeting and discuss it, that is a, that is a, a meeting that we are now going to sit down with the stakeholders. You talk about face-to-face, -face, right? Well, virtual is face-to-face, -face, so. But you <laughs> yeah. talk about that. Right, that is what is going to resolve it, and that is what we should have done from day one. We should have said, "Listen, you have a problem. Let just just let me know." And and the process is not difficult, you know. It is one that is meant to be effective. It said, "Listen, let me know by writing to me and telling me what the issues are." Uh, Mr. Chung, when it, when it comes down to the girls, I, I, maybe, I don't right. even answer this. Right, the girls, the twenty three girls. Can you confidently mm -hmm. say to the people right now, I am confident that based on the money is paid out, there is zero balance mm -hmm. for it. 
Be, yeah, based on the records that we have, yes. And that and that is that is based on your timeline from the said February when the qualifiers start. Or this is just for the World Cup participation. Because no man, no man. We 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 have a spreadsheet that computes everything from last year from South Korea per diem. I think that money was owed from then. From okay, so and you can say right now it is at a uh, where your concern is zero. For, for, for the players at the World Cup, even if other players are old, players at the World Cup, as far as you're concerned, those, those 23 as far, players... As, as, far, as far as I'm concerned, yes. I mean, and I, would, I, would, I, I will never say never, but what I will say is that if there are persons who are dissatisfied, then just let us know individually who those are, mm -hmm. and we will ensure that we reconcile everything to the team. Right. I really, I really need somebody like uh, this need to, we need to figure this out, man. Because if, if, if they're saying that players, there may be, and I don't think it's a lot, you know, based on how the, 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 the conversation, the interview was, it, it, it appears to me that of the 23, there may be two or three or possibly four. That is how well, I, what I picked up. And I'm well, 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 I don't, I don't want to assume what it is. You know, I just want the specifics on who it is. Yeah, man. And that's what I'm saying is that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, if if I were in your position, mm -hmm. I I would like I said you have written to FIFA, uh, Fifth Pro. If I don't yeah. get a response in in twenty four hours, um, I have to find a <clears throat> way of communicating this because we can't let four, like you said, four players believe. But we don't know. How, we don't know how many it is, man. Is man. I'm, I'm saying, right, say four, five, six, whatever yeah. amount. Mm -hmm. yeah. The majority of the 40 seem to mm -hmm. not have this issue because some are even playing now and it's one team. The, we can't let the minority, I believe, affect the work of the majority. So it is incumbent. Yeah, I, it is incumbent. We, we can't, we, to, we so can't, we can't we, let any, any issue affect it. Yeah. So while we follow the process, and I understand the need to follow in the process because if you don't follow process, you'll hear, well, you didn't follow the process. Why right. I agree with that, we must find a way. So maybe it is 24, it's when 24 hours come, there must be a timeline. If you don't <clears> respond <throat> by 24 hours, what is the alternative? Like, so if Fifth Pro don't respond by Monday morning, we can't allow it to linger until the eighth. What is the next, like, what are the next steps according to the process that gets this thing dealt with before Christmas, before the 14th of December? How are we going to ensure that this thing is done and dusted and you see the players out there playing, we get to see them as the fan and, and, and everybody, maybe not 100% happy, but at peace that we are in a better place, like, and 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 like people are saying, um, they say that the adults in this, the the older persons, are the are the are the, the, the persons at the GFF, so they should take the higher road. In other words, they should they should <clears throat> do everything in their power to create the pathway and press it so it can be accomplished. And that is why I'm asking. So let me ask, you, let yeah. me ask you a question. What is it that we have not been doing? No, I'm not saying you have not been doing it. What I'm saying is come Monday, you don't hear back from Fifth Pro. Oh, no, no, I mean, I mean, definitely, I think so. But, but we always hear back from them, you know, um, particularly with, with what I sent today. I'm sure I'll hear back. So, Dennis, Dennis, I have a question for you. Because you asked a question about what have you not been doing? Yeah. The World Cup yeah. is finished when? In August? Yes. We're now in December. Mm -hmm. We have disagreement and we have not had one meeting with the girls. Right? So there's yeah, no so sense what, of urgency so... on either party's part to get this resolved. That's how, that's how it feels that... like. No, 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 no. So, so cranky. If I write to you and tell you, first and foremost, give me some dates for a meeting, and you don't do that, and then I send to you and say, this is a date I'm suggesting, 
you are saying that I'm not making steps to have a meeting with you? So let me say this, Dennis. When you listen to both sides, you just shake your head. Because no, I don't. I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to answer your question. When I hear your side and their side, that's why we have the conversation today. There's no linkage. You guys are stuck in your corner and you're adamant that you're right and that your mode is right. And we're not seeing the impasse being broken. What I'm saying all right, is all this. Right, so, all right, reach all right, over so, the fence. So, reach so, over the fence. So, so, so cranky. Yes. You don't think that me requesting a meeting from you is reaching over the fence. All right. You send me an email. It goes to fifth pro. People may or may not talk to me. Cranky, 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 yes. cranky, 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 yeah, 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 cranky. Let me, no, let me, let me cranky. answer. Let me answer first, man. No, 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 no. Ahead, let me ahead. answer. Let me answer, Mister. So I believe you have. Yeah, I believe that you are. You are what? What you said? Stepping over the fence? No. So here's what I believe. You are stretched over the fence. So here's what I believe. Instead of passing over the fence, let's find the door, open the door, and walk in. Because right, I, so what, I don't think so, we have a so, so, I think we just reach out. All right. So 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 then so then Can I, I should con up? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I yeah. should confirm the eighth of December then. No, yeah. that's a, no, no, Dennis, 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 <laughs> no, Dennis, no. Dennis, uh, Dennis, we are we are in we are in December. The workup was finished in August. What so are doing I, I'm is not saying, working. I'm saying no, 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 I'm saying. Uh, you want me to then confirm the 8th of December as I did. What I am saying, exactly. What I'm saying is that you're here tonight. I'd love yeah. for you to say, listen, Khadija, um, um, Rebecca, all the other girls, listen, this thing has been going on too long. I'm the Gen Sec. All right? I would love for this to be resolved. We have reached out, like you said, to your representative. You know my number. Call me. Let us sit down on the 8th. The games are over. Nothing until March in terms of game. Let us sit down. We are, I am ready. I am ready to meet you at a time convenient to you. I've, we have written that, right? But I'm also making this appeal here. <clears throat> and say so you go on. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man is man, man is man, hold on. Remember I said, you know, two weeks ago, somebody came to me and asked me for a meeting last week, Wednesday, and what did I say? I said, yes, No. I want to meet. Fine. I'm talking about in this moment right now. In this moment, okay. I want you nice. to speak to. I want you to speak, speak to them, speak to them, and speak to them, and let them know that listen, this has gone on for too long. Let us let let us do it. I'm 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 opening the door. I'm coming in. Right. Let us at least meet. At the end of the meeting, we can we can walk away saying we have resolved the issue. But you're going to go left, and I'm going to go right. But we had a meeting. But but let's at least I want to hear from you. I, I, I don't know what you know, but but you know all right. So so management, what I will say in response to you is that I will of course reach out again and say I want a meeting to resolve it. So reach out now. Where can I reach out? <laughs> no, but I've done yeah, but, but I then, have then Dennis then is reaching out, he's sending some informal email to some <laughs> party which get lost in their mailbox. And people have this. That, that is not true, Nothing Cranky. Is that is not. That is not a true statement. But Dennis, that's what I'm hearing. Dennis, I have to be fierce. No, what I'm hearing. no, no, I'm no, no, I'm no, hearing. no, 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 no. When you say get lost in their their box, that's not true because they do it's respond. Fifth row, fifth row. They, but they respond and say what? There's no meeting occurring. Dennis, here's the thing, Dennis. We are the fans are tired of this. We are exhausted. We're emotionally drained. We want this resolved. And the JFF and the girls are pontificating and positioning themselves and not coming to a, they're not caucusing and resolving this. So if any girl representative are on in the chat, please ask the girls to call the, the Gen Sec. Yeah, and where's Mr. Rick? Rick? Call Mr. Ricketts. Call them and tell them, say, you know what, we want to fix yeah. this thing. Listen, be the adults in the room, since nobody wants to be the adults. So girls, be the adults right. in the room and call. I, I think, like, if, if like, I think the situation is at a point where this is me. If I were here, I'd say, listen, Khadija and um, Rebecca, all the other young ladies. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I heard tonight, this is what I've heard, that somebody even asked a detailed statement for tax purposes. I am willing to help you. I will be in office tomorrow from 9 to 5. You have my number. Call me. Or you can call and get my number. But I'm willing to listen to you to see how I can help. 
I have also communicated to your representative, Fifth Pro, but I want to personally, personally help you with whatever you need. All right. So, so you can you can call me tomorrow. I am available. Monday, I am available. While you wait, while you wait on Fifth Pro to respond from the girls, because I think the fact that they have come out, I am saying that the fact that they have come out is saying something. One, I believe it is saying, like, listen, we too want this resolved now. So I believe this is an opportunity for you in good faith to say, Miss Shaw, Miss Rebecca, all right, I, I hear what you said. I, I, I saw that you are frustrated. <clears throat> this has been a long and frustrating process. We, 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 we're going into the festive season, right? Come, let us reason together. Let us reason. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think if the girls hear that, they, I, I think it moves them into action. It doesn't mean that everything will be resolved in the meeting. It doesn't mean that you and them will come to an agreement. But at least we would be here. We'll be here saying that, you know what? The JFF did offer the opportunity for the meeting mr chung said it publicly and then if we hear that none of them call and their representative never responded then then the, the public will say why didn't you why didn't you the, what you don't want to leave with is this nothing is done and then the next three weeks two more come up and do an interview and we go through an next cycle like this that is what i fear <clears throat> So, so man is man, man is man. You know, I have no difficulty with that, right? And as you said, if I do not hear from the response from Fifth Pro, then I will obviously have to move in that direction because what it would mean is that Fifth Pro is not effective as a communication arm and representative, right? So I'll obviously have to move in that direction because, as I've said on multiple occasions, the only thing that we want to do is resolve this. It, it don't help us. I mean, our focus must be on playing the games. Right? And as I said, right, to, to, to the coaching staff and also I said to you the other day, is that we are hopeful that for the next round of games, Xavier will have, or whoever the coach is, right, will have um a full slate to choose from what i don't want is for us to think that and 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 this is a, an argument out there that there are two teams there are no two teams there are a pool yeah. of players and we will always select right and i suspect mm -hmm. that and it's not me what we do is ensure that the pool is there right and so then, then, then the, the coaching then, then staff will, will then, select then from that pool. But then what I don't... You're not, you're not, Dennis, you're not running for office, Dennis. You're not running for office. I'm sorry, Dennis. I have to call you out on that. You're not running for office. If I if somebody I mean, tell me that Gray and Pinnock and Nicholson and Lowe and Blake are not available for selection, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. I'm sorry, Dennis. I'm not buying that. That cannot I, be the case. No, so I, I don't understand. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, I don't understand what you're saying. The, the point I'm making is this. I don't want to hear this, that we have 43 people for selection and we start selecting from number 20. Our 43 no, no, but no, cranky, 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 yes. cranky. What are you saying don't make no sense, to, to, respectfully? It don't make no sense, right? I it, do it, not. Ahead, hold on, hold on. I do not make selection. I understand right? that, but some right. girls are not so available for selection. So the therefore, so therefore, so therefore, so therefore, what you're saying is not relevant, right? What happens it is, relevant, is that uh, no, no, it's, it's not. No, it is not. It is not. It is not. It is not. I must come off of okay. the narrative there, right? Okay. What okay. all we do is ensure that players are available for selection. What I don't want is for us to think that there are two teams or that anyone has a god-given right to, to a selection right and uh, i don't know of any team. hold on hold on hold on no, hold ahead, on man. i don't know of any country that operates in that way that someone must be on a team 
that, that's technical. But no, I don't want to get in it. Mr. Mr. Chung, all right? So in, in this, let me, just, let me just say this, right? There, yeah. is, mm. there is information out there in the space that in November, in October, persons would have reached out to leadership from the female side asking for a, like I said, a breakdown. This is in October. There mm -hmm. A response was sent similar to what you said, that there is a, a spreadsheet with everyone's name on it, but there is no detailed breakdown for each individual, right? Which is what the person was requesting. This is in October. So what I'll say, I don't know if that information was presented to you, but they are person. So what I would, my suggestion, that's why I'm saying that, my suggestion is some of these things that you're hearing, I think it would be good for you to ask the individuals, for example, who need a breakdown for whatever purposes to reach out to you because they would have reached out mm -hmm. to, to leadership around the senior team and got a similar explanation, but since October, nothing has been presented. And I, and I think, and, and again, this is communication because it is also possible that it was not brought to your attention, but a request was made. Well, you know, as I always say, right, if those things are done and people are not satisfied, right, then all they have to do, right, and just like what has happened in the past, persons have sent to me the information because my email is well known. And persons have called me from the team also, right? So there has never been any closed door. I have received calls. I have received emails. I have received WhatsApp. Okay. Right? So Seriously, that yeah, has what, never what, been strange. So if there well. is someone, if there is someone, and I'd love to know if there is someone who has reached out to someone and the person has not been responsive, then all they have to do is tell me when they reach out to the person and who it was. <clears throat> right? That's all they have to do. Okay. Okay. I see. All right. All right. Cranky, I don't know, man. But, but like... I, 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 I would love at the end of this because this is part of what my desire was, right? And I tried to stay up because I, I think sometimes people believe I have an inherent bias and I wanted Cranky to lead the discussion with you, mm. Mr. Chug. And I, yeah. respect, I respect you coming on. But for me, it is, it is simply this. Like, I, I wish I had a timeline to say that there is going to be a resolution in two weeks' time because um these steps are going to be taken and and um I, I, we don't get to talk to the girls um a lot of a lot of the, mm. the, the, the youtubers don't get the opportunity yeah. to talk to the girls especially the leadership core which is fine we talk to people from the within the federation though and sometimes it seems one sided because all the information we get is from mm. from like you or mr speed or persons in the jfm and then yeah. the other information is shared elsewhere. You remember when the issue was with the, the, the young lady mother and you did one here and she did something, I think, on Dean Jackson Miller show. And right. I was I was I was I was on with her too. Right. You remember I said to you that I believe she's going to come on the next day. You need to go and meet with her. Do you know that from that happened? Both of you are on the same platform. That whole matter was laid to rest. Right, because I was I was invited on the on the on the show with her, right? And you know, it is ironic, you know, you know, nobody has ever asked for any accountability for those funds. No, that, we know we don't want to get into that. Ironic. Yeah, I was just using that to say. I mean, I mean, it's it's it's, it's just sixty thousand dollars still, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I was just using that to 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 say that I think. Yeah. A lot of these things will be put to rest once the meeting happens, and it should not. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, and and you know, my which is why we have been pushing for the meeting. Remember, remember, well, well, 
the first what, what we had proposed after the, the call up is we had proposed a meeting um the day after we got the response from them um about unavailability and they said they couldn't make it because the notice was too short but the reason why we proposed it for the day after is because we wanted a quick resolution mm -hmm. And then at that point, when they said it was too short, we said, okay, give us two dates that we can have a meeting on it quickly, right? We didn't get that. And then um, Fifth Pro was appointed, and we proposed December 8th, because by that time now, we'd have been in the throes of the games and everything, right? Um, and really what we want to do, I mean, we want to resolve this issue, because this issue don't help anybody, right? And as I said, um, you know, one of the things that, 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 that we, we, we see is that, um, you know, we really have, coming out of all of this, it shows that we have a really deep um, pool of talent, you know, for Jamaica. Um, but we want to resolve this issue, right, mm -hmm. and, and, and resolve it according to the, the, the contract, right, and, uh, which I think is a well-laid-out process in terms of how to resolve it and that, culminates in our meeting we have the three representatives we have our representatives all we're waiting on is a date if i don't get something from fifth pro um i'm going to reach out um to everybody right i'm going to reach out to everybody and say hey you know and and when i say everybody it means the 18 right because it's not it's not all of them that that would have signed it was 18 of them um and I'm going to reach out to them and say, you know, what's the issue? You know, can we have a meeting, right? Um, of course, that meeting will have to be set by some representatives, whether it's from within or, or Fifth Pro. I don't know if Fifth Pro is still their representative, right? Um, and, and, and see if we can resolve it. And I'd love to, to have that meeting by December 8th because that's a meeting that we also had communicated to the persons who are representing from within JFF, right? So we, we have that date in mind, right? Because bear in mind that, you know, is, is coordinating um, the, the, the calendars for various people to have that. Um, yes. And we, what we'd love to have is the a documentation of the issues, you know, that we're going to discuss. Um, I hear, now that we hear that some people say they, they're not satisfied with that they've been fully paid, we would love to know who it is so we can check all of that before going into that, you know, and, and have some resolution on it. Uh, because, you know, um, at the next round of matches, which I think is about February, we want to have the, the full complement, you know, well, the, 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 the work of persons it, plus it, it, also. We have to win tomorrow to have games in February, you know. If we don't win tomorrow, yeah, 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 yeah. But but we're optimistic. We're optimistic about that, man. Don't be don't be pessimistic about no, it, man. No, man, I'm not pessimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, but but uh, Mr. Chuck, um, listen. So I mean, <laughs> say on average, um, you know, man is used to use hypothetical a thousand dollars over was paid over to the nine girls. That nine thousand US. I mean. Well, uh, that is just like, okay, you go and enjoy that girls are, it, money has to be given back. Um, well, we would expect, I mean, it's not something we, 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 we make a request, but we would expect that, you know, the money is sent back. I mean, that, that's, <laughs> that's the expectation, but, but have, you know, have, because... have you actually written to them to say you have received this amount of no, money? No, no, well, well, well I, I don't know if it was communicated Specifically, I think it might have been in the statement because statements were sent to everyone. So I think it might have been in the so, statement. So if I go to a shop, Mr. Chung, and the, and the, and the shopkeeper give back over change and don't come and ask mm -hmm. it, why should I give it back? Well, I thought you were an honest person. Yeah, no, I'm asking you. So why? <laughs> you, you don't ask, I could walk away believing that, boy, may I tell you, you're really glad that I'm going to come by your shop so you tip me. Yeah, I thought you're an honest person, though. No. <laughs> you know, I'm you're changing you. my perception. No, no, no. I am saying to you that if a person goes to a, a goes to a pays his fear. Listen, the listen. The way the yeah. way we have looked at it, right, is that, um, you know, we, 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 it's not something that we followed up because we know that you know, persons will pay for Jamaica again in the future. And, you know, 
Yeah, the uh, said, that is the wrong thing. In other words, do not give me over money and then take it out of my pay. You, know? you can't do that. Man is one, man is one, man is one, man is one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And a point of principle. You know, say, if you work for government and then yeah. pay you over, mm -hmm. you know, say, if it's 10 years down the line, then government taking it back from you? Yeah. No, but they can't. Listen, you can't... You know, the, you know what I'm saying? The Auditor General report, say, mate. No, yeah. So let me give you an example. <laughs> if you give me $10,000 over... Yeah. Pay, yeah. You cannot take that out. I'm at $11,000 pay next month. You can't. Legal. I am telling you, no, no, I am telling you it can be done. <laughs> no, no, you can't take out. You I, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm listen, I, I am telling you it okay. can be done. Okay. I, I, May I tell you? Okay. All right. <laughs> listen, listen, you see, you see, if the tax department give you a credit that you are not due, and then make the realize that, may say, tax department taking it back from you, you know? Yeah. Right, I mean, we're speaking, we're speaking no, no, no about about law. No man, I'm not saying that it cannot be taken, <laughs> no. but there uh -huh. is the, what I'm saying is that if you give me extra, I may be unaware. You don't communicate it to me. It doesn't matter by law. It does not matter, no. and I'm not speaking about the specific no. issue. I'm talking about law, would you know? But listen, what I'm saying. No, fine. What I am saying is that listen, you listen. You you know that if someone transfer money to your bank account by mistake and you use it if you don't return it you have some legal issues well no no man i, I understand that you know mr okay mr. all right okay. i work for you you give me overs i don't I know, I, know what I, I, I don't know what i know is that next month you take money out of my salary i ask you why did you take this out you said to me because last month you gave me a thousand extra no, I'm telling you that is something that happens all the while, Manning's man. Thank you. You, you, can't, you, you can't. You can't. You you because because right. I'm on a different way than you guys. I I, I am not going to go into those semantics. Oh, I'm away from that. <laughs> I, I anyway, that's that. We're 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 side tracking. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me just. Yeah. Ask. What Dennis is doing? Hold what Dennis is doing? Go hold ahead, on, thank you. Let me just take, let me just take this um this person. Um, call and then we we'll get back to Cranky and then we're gonna close out. Go ahead, Brian. You have you have a couple of minutes and then. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah. Mister Tom is wrong about the banking part, yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Cause I know the bank cannot do that. Thank you. Are you? If, some... if somebody, somebody, if somebody transfers money to you by accident, you send back that money at your discretion. That, that's what I'm saying. They cannot take it unless you you want to send it back. No, but Thank what he said, you can be sued for the money. You can be sued exactly. For the money. I did not say that the bank can't can take it back. You can be sued for it. It's le yes. legally you have to return it. That's the point I made. Yes, I didn't yes, say the bank. The bank can't go in your account and just take money like that. But oh, you oh, legally, oh. you legally have to send back that money. You have to return the money. That's okay. not disputed by any jurisdiction. All right, all right, friend. Um, let, let, all right, respect for that. Yeah, man. All right, cranky. So, so that, that, so, so, but, so, but let so me tell you something. You see, yeah, but, but let me tell you something. You see, you see that that call. That is an example of persons misinterpreting what is said. <laughs> so, 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 uh, yes, okay, so, 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 the impasse is sitting there like, you know, the elephant in the room. It's not moving. And we haven't done, exhausted all ways and means to resolve the impasse on both sides. Before you go, but that is before you apply. Before you apply. This is, this is mm -hmm. an objective, independent fan view, which is we're entrenched. Yeah. This is my view. We're entrenched in our position. It's been going on for months. We have made any progress because payment is not progress. Because the issues are not about payments. This issue now is about whatever the issues are, because I'm not sure what they are. Whether it's flights, whether it's coaches, whether it's so, you know, so no, but cranky, you, you, cranky, cranky, you yes. listen to yourself. You listen to yourself. All the time. All the time. You, said, you said, hold on, you said at the start of this that the main issue was the payment. 
No, 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 but I'm getting to the point though. No, no, I'm saying this so conversation then, so then suggests... How can you say, so how, then how no, no, can no, no, you no, say no, that no. payment is not progress? No, 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 but, 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 no, 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 but here's the point, Dennis, which is this. When I hear the girls speak, they even dismiss elements of the payments as the main reason why we're at this impasse, you know. If you hear them speak and you put sense of the nonsense, I got the sense there's more here than just about money. And so if we don't resolve those other things, we're going to have this impasse still. And that so is if, why, yeah but, yeah, but but you see, that is why we need to have the meeting. Because right, until but I don't see then, you know, pushing for this meeting. You say we're sending emails. No, Frankie, no, Frankie, no. No, yeah, Frankie, you, can, you, you can't yes, say Dennis. that. You can't Dennis, say Dennis. that. Dennis, it's two months, yeah. Dennis, two months. Yeah, but two you can't months, say Dennis. that. No, but you can't say, oh, listen, listen, during that two months, I would have had verbal communication with a representative at the time for us to meet and discuss things, right? There would have been communication to say, hey, um um can we can you set two dates for us there have been a communication to say let us meet on december 8th two weeks ago two persons would have come to me verbally in a meeting physical and said can you meet last wednesday i said yes and then call me and said can you meet thursday yes because the meeting can not happen wednesday how can you say no that there have not been efforts from both sides to have a meeting. It's just that it don't happen yet. But that don't mean saying that won't happen. And that don't mean that there's no been, been more progress. And don't don't bring that narrative because I am hopeful that we will have a meeting on Friday and resolve this thing. Okay. It so means so that, that is, there has that been that progress. That is, that is, be careful, that is. Be careful. Because when the girls spoke, I heard nothing from them. Say a meeting was imminent. And if that's the case, next week, aid come and nothing happens. We're, and Christmas, they're going to say, well, you know, Christmas is coming up. We're going to push it off till January. Yeah, but then, as I told you, I wrote back to Fifth Pro today and said, I need to know what's happening. Okay. So as Manning's man said, if I don't hear back from him on Monday, then there's a next step now. I'm going to write to everybody and say, listen, okay. we want to resolve this thing. Let us meet. We have December eighth set up. So how do Let we us define have everybody? How, how do we define? How do we define everybody? The twenty-three players. The, the okay. eighteen players. Okay. Sorry, the eighteen players. Then, Dennis is just finally getting to the core of what I've been saying, which is you're going to circumvent the representative, which we should have done already, by the way. No, but, 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 no, but no, Dennis, no, no, Dennis, no, no. Call, but, Dennis, but, if I call but, your office. <laughs> Dennis, if I call your office and you answer the phone, and we we'll get something done, you don't answer it. I simply speak to your boss. The girls are the boss of the representative. Yeah, yeah. So but, to the boss no, already. but cranky, but cranky, we couldn't have gotten here before, you know. Okay. Because until the the discussion yesterday, right. we were of the opinion that Fifth Pro was representing them. <laughs> okay. We had no reason to doubt that. And it would have been, I would dare say, it would have been disrespectful for you to tell me that Manning's man is representing you and then go around Manning's man. But now that I have um, evidence to say that they might not be representing them, then I can now go and speak directly. But I can't disrespect a process that you set in place because if I do that, then you might come to me and say, boy, why oh, yeah, disrespect me, so? I tell you, say, man, he's going to deal with my thing already. But Dennis, if, I, if you realize the process is not working as designed, don't you have to revisit the process? Which is what, which is what I said, based on what man, man said. I'll do as of Monday because that is why I would have written to them today and said, can you clarify with me that you are in fact the representative? Okay. Okay. But but the, the, this thing, we have to ensure, you know, I, I made a point to somebody the other day, you know, right? And I made it to a journalist. I said, when you talk, there are no consequences. When I talk, there are consequences. 
I have to ensure that I follow process and respect the wishes of people. Because when a journalist talk, you know, him go in bed and him all right after that. Right? When I come out and say or do something, it has a consequence. Yeah, and I have I to be very careful of that. Yeah, I think I think also for the girls though, because if I understood yeah. the last meeting that you were supposed to have, and I'm just trying to help because I want this meeting to happen. But the eighth, which is a Friday, could be a very difficult time because even at the last <clears> meeting, I think um Miss Shaw said that she had to travel um because they had an away match. So you know, could yeah, you but management, 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 come on. You no, can't no, you, you can stay where you are and say that. No, man, no, man. So let me finish because the point I'm making, what I would love as well for you to consider is to give three different days, different times so that they can find the most convenient. Management, 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 yeah. management, management. Come on. No, uh, come on now. If I say to you, management boy, let us meet on Friday. And you can't meet on Friday. What you do? You come to me and say, no, then let's meet Thursday. And then what if you can't meet Thursday? We just discuss it and we arrive at something. But that's it might be Wednesday. Email. No, we send emails. That's what we do. We send emails. <laughs> we don't discuss anything. We send emails, which is impersonal. Which does we take time. Which has to be picked up. At some future point ma, ma, in time, ma, ma, I'm, 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 I'm gonna send cranky going bed, you know. I'm getting cranky. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get cranky because we're not getting anywhere, Dennis. And you know it. No, Dennis, you, ma, no, Dennis, you know this, Dennis. We're not getting cranky. anywhere. Two months cranky, that we cranky, have cranky. this. Cranky, that is, is not I'm true. Cranky, yes. it, 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 it's not true that all we do is send emails, right? But I am telling you that um the, the approach that was discussed by management. I agree with it. If we don't hear something positive by Monday from Fifth Pro, then I will definitely reach out to all the players and say, listen, what is the situation? We would like to have a meeting to discuss this thing. Yeah. And also, believe me, Mr. Trump, I think you have to pivot the conversation mm -hmm. a little different because I think it 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 comes like I like what Neil is saying because. Uh, the amount of times FIF Pro, FIF Pro have been mentioned, it 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 could suggest to them that there are problems in the middle of this. You may win the battle with the girl and then create the next problem there. So I don't know if you feel that. Like I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not suggesting that there are problems. I'm I'm communicating with them, so I'm not suggesting there are problems. Okay. okay, all right. No. Just want to make no. sure because no. I no, 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 not at all, not at all. Yeah. I'm not suggesting that. <laughs> Not suggesting that at all. All right, uh, Dennis, but anything I would you like to, before we go. Anything else before we yeah, go? man. I would like to end the conversation by saying that guys, we have a uh, a team in Guatemala that I think will put on a great performance for us tomorrow, right? And as Jamaicans, we should support them, right? Because he's, I mean, they are representing Jamaica. And, you know, I mean, I think that tomorrow should be the day that we focus on them, you know, and, and, yes, and really put our support behind them. Because, you know, this, I, 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 I think that, and, and they're very confident, you know, I, I spoke with them. Um, I've been in touch with the, the management team and the, the, the coach, and they're very confident. Um, they actually sent me a video of them having um, a meal also, and, the spirit is looking very, very good in the camp. You know, um, you saw how these girls performed recently also. Um, and, you know, I, I'm, just, I'm just hopeful, very hopeful that we're going to come away with a win tomorrow, you know, which will put us in, in pole position to, to enter the playoffs, you know. Um, and I, I really have a lot of confidence in these girls. Um, Shanil Buckley told, told me, um, Manning's man that she has at least two goals in her for tomorrow, yeah, right? Where yeah, and, and I want them come out. I was just gonna say, I'm I'm out. Out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, well, well, I mean, Shani, you, 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 know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, well, I mean, Shani, you know, I'm, 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 she really, she really impressed me because she was the one who scored the goal on Wednesday, and um, this girl don't even get to university yet, you know, 
Yeah, but, but, um, but, but Miss, uh, Miss, do you know Sule Washington was not at university and she was at the World Cup? Cameron Simmons was not at university and she was at the World Cup? Yeah, but what would they? What you know, you know what, Dennis, we hope the girls what, what, win tomorrow. We hope the girls win tomorrow. We're supportive of the girls. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand the point that man is not making because I'm not discounting. Young, we, have young I'm, guys, we have just as young in the World Cup team. That's what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, yeah, man. But, but, that, but, 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 but I was speaking about her specifically and her performance. No, but it has yes, no yes, comparison yes, with she, nothing. She, no, man, she's a good player. But what I'll say, Mr. Chung, is that yeah. I think sometimes, I think, and, and I'm telling you, you know, YouTube is a funny space because how mm -hmm. you speak glowingly about this team people walk away saying that i'm telling you you have to understand the media space they will walk away saying i've never heard him come out and talk so about the other girls you know that's what they will and say that's not true and that is not true okay that is not true okay well we don't, we, don't we only true. have one team see, so there's no other see, girls you, you there's see, only see, one team there's see, no other girls that, 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 that's that, that's what there's i speak about the misinterpretation but but man man that's what i speak about the misinterpretation like how neo came and said boy we must tell the bank to take back the money who neo? never said that neo not neo man no, that's right. not neo that's not neo no pb pb sorry yeah no not neo right my neo it was pb <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I just corrected myself, sir. <laughs> well, well, Dennis, we thank you for being on, Dennis. We appreciate you making time. Yeah, we man, no problem. Informative for those in the audience, because some people going, people are entrenched in their position. It may not change yeah. anybody's mind, yeah. but at least we got it from your side. We've got the girl side. We're gonna make up their minds as to who they want to believe or not believe. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, right, and so I Dennis, thanks a lot. Yeah, man, we hope that everything will work out so we have the meeting on Friday and, and resolve these issues, you know. And, and, I, and, 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 and get... um, skip FIFRO and go to the source. That's all I'll say. No, we can't just do that yet, man. Why you want to no, knock down the no, wall? No, but, but, you just want... Okay. You, but, said, but, if, but if, if listen, 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 listen. Manning's man, Cranky looks like he's the man who used to beat the wall at stadium, you know. He never used to pay for going. I okay. paid to go I go to grand. I just go to grandstand. <laughs> no, that's not true. I go to beaches with my KC people, but I go to grandstand when I got a little bit more older and more more, more resources. So, um, yeah. no, but that, no, we appreciate your time, Dennis. Seriously, we appreciate your yeah. time. Yeah, and man, then, no problem. El Granny said he has spoke glowingly about Jody Brown in the past as well. So, yeah, of course, um, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, man, yeah. Man. yeah. But like I said, yeah. listen, we appreciate you coming on. I mean, um, yeah, man. If, I, and I know, I know that some of the girls genuinely need uh, more detailed statements. I know, and mm -hmm. so they, they, they. I hope that after you said this, they would have heard, and then they will respond to you directly to see if they can get that information, which is critical in the jurisdiction that they operate. So, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I want to say thank you because I mean, and and, 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 and I just want to say that's important to understand individually because different tax jurisdictions might need it in different ways. Yep. You know, it's Definitely. not a one size fits all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would agree. Mm. All right, yeah. guys. Have a good evening. All right. Yeah, man. All right, guys. Cool. Yeah, man. All right. Money's so, you have lot to digest, Cranky. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Look, I think, look, Dennis got a chance to say his piece. We heard Bunny and Rebecca speak on Sports Max. My hope is that this impasse manage will be broken. That people walk through the door, as you said, stop reaching over the fence because they better be handle long enough over the fence. Um, walk through the door, meet and greet. If any other girls are watching this program, I hear about it. For them to probably reach out. I mean, because the adults in the room have to act accordingly. And right now, it's not exactly working. And I know Dennis is saying all that he has done, but all I'm hearing is fifth pro and emails. And frankly, you got to use the phone because the phones are there for a reason. And if the, the, the predetermined communication mode doesn't work and the party that's been designated doesn't work, you have to circumvent the money. And we do that in life all the time. I know people are saying, what well, is contractually, but you can't just be beholden to your contract 24-7 when the contract is not working for you. And you're not voiding the contract because you talk to the person directly. Not at all. So we just need to work through... Those, but I'm going to call semantic because I haven't heard any gauge showstoppers apart from payments. And if payments have been made and there's miscommunication, then resolve those miscommunication and let's get to resolving those 
other items, yeah. which then it says it's mainly travel and something about, you know, who my physical trainer is and who coaches are. I think the girls seem to think it's more than that. The girls also mentioned communication as a theme. But the communication channels right now are not working. Man. I know Dennis keeps saying about the communication more they have, but it's not working. Yeah. And I like, listen, one of the things he said that I think is very important is that all of this, all of this was done, <clears throat> all of the payments were done through FIFA, right? Like FIFA was involved in the whole um, paying of the funds and, and, and they got the information and the help with the calculation. He said FIFA, I think, not FIFA. Not FIFA. Yeah, FIFA, FIFA, right. So FIFA was helped with the, and, yeah. they, and they have communicated to FIFA the payments have been made. Oh, payment and they have made, made the payments to the account numbers they were given for the player. Right, so those things are important because right. the fact that FIFA was part of the process means that it is possible that the monies have been paid, but something else is happening that needs yes. to be resolved. Well, no. The, the money piece needs to be fully resolved because if, if one person is saying I paid you and I'm saying I didn't get paid or some of us didn't get paid, that needs to be resolved, right? As you said, there are other elements of this, which is how specific are the statements they get so they can list with their accountants, make sure they file a tax return with the income in the right buckets. And then third, which is what else is left that needs to be resolved, which Dennis is saying is travel and Dennis is saying it's some coaches physical trainer, medical thing issue, while the girls are saying communication is not good and there seems to be other factors at play. That's why you hear me asking for the inventory of grievances so that both sides know what they go to the table, what needs to be resolved. So when they meet, they can resolve them and move forward. Yeah. And, and, and I think as well, I, I think some of these things need joint statement. It's almost like, all right, we have met, and this is a joint statement, like just as a way of saying, we, what I don't want is, okay, you say this, and then I say this, and then the people find reasons to nitpick with the argument. I think there should be a joint statement where once they have this meeting, no one should come mm -hmm. out and speak until they have a, a press conference where the representatives from the girls and the federation sit at the table, whomever they are, and speak to the public there. That means everybody's on the same page. But none should select to do interviews um, coming out of that, stating one thing, because somebody may communicate something that, yeah, that, that is misunderstood, and then right. coming out of a meeting, it creates more problem than anything else. So I think that's one of the resolutions that they have to take. Once we have come to the point of having a meeting, out of that meeting, there is a joint statement on the way forward. And before that, no one should go to the media, any at all. I don't think the issues are insurmountable. I have a feeling there's more there than meets the eye that's not been publicized, that needs to get addressed. My hope is that they'll come up with that list of stuff which they're concerned about. You hear me ask a question about roles and responsibilities. But I think there's conflicts inherent in that situation also that needs to be resolved, management. Because if I think I can help to figure out who my trainers will be, my coach is supposed to be, that may be an issue for the JFF. And the girls may think they have a right to know those situations. So bring all those grievances to the table, work through them, come to a consensus. You may agree to disagree. You have to have some compromise in place and move forward. It's just frustrating to see this two months three months and nothing get done and we said we are communicating so it's ineffective communication yeah. so hopefully we can get that resolved management and move forward but yeah. it was a, it was a good discussion with dennis and i'm glad to see somebody turn out so it's a topic of interest because there are a lot of people in the yeah. chat some and, beating know, us about they, they all have different views some saying you Cranky, you're biased. You're not. <laughs> I have to laugh. At this I because understand. You I can't understand. please everybody. You can't please everybody. Can't you please everybody. For the people. For the people. Some say I'm JFF. I'm JFF this, and some say I'm anti girls. I don't know. I can be both, but I I must have some some unique powers to be able to be anti JFF, anti girls. Yeah. I don't know how that works. Yeah, man. But Nia wasn't able to come <laughs> on and 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 coach Minzy, um, but with them up there in the comment section, I saw them. 
Um, I know Neil was on the road. So big up, big up to Neil and Coach Minzi and to everyone. But, uh, uh, you know, we were going to talk about EPL, but we'd be gloating about Arsenal and that, you know. No, so, let's not gloat so, about Arsenal. Yeah, let's so, not gloat. Let's not so gloat. Let's, we're not going to do this. <laughs> we no, could we're not going to gloat about, about winning. Oh, no, 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 again today. But <laughs> let's, let's leave that alone um, for um, the... No, we should, we should say this, which is what Dennis said, which is we wish the girls good luck tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, wish yeah. the girls who are playing against Guatemala can win tomorrow. And as Dennis also alluded to, we hope subsequent to that game that we're in the playoff rounds playing against whoever the other two teams are, maybe Trinidad, maybe whoever that they are. And they, we can have the full contingent of players because even though we keep talking about first, second team, third team, fourth team, whatever it is, we don't have the full complement of players to select from. So hopefully we'll win. We'll have the full complement. The team will be combined. Even though we say there's one team and not two teams, okay, semantics with words, with situation. And we can get to the point now where we have the full complement of players to be selected from. And we'll select the best team going forward to compete in the region. And we can get to the Gold Cup. Because it's, it's very detrimental to the women's game. And I think people are missing that Manning's man. Yeah. Not to have us play in the first inaugural Gold Cup in this region, have our best team playing, and there is exposures for the girls along with monetary compensation to participate. I'm not sure why everybody can't see that, and that should be the focus, not some stuff which disagreement between the administration and the players. I'm not sure why people don't see that's the main thing. Actually. Hey, James, James, listen, I'll, I'll, James, I would love... I'd love to hear from James. You know. Like I'd love for James to, to and listen. When we say we want to do a debate on the platform, cranky, I want the people to know. Like we want, we want people to prepare and share, from, from their perspective, not necessarily for the the sake of winning, but just because sometimes both sides have good arguments, and so when we say we want a debate on the platform, it's so that we, some of us, can be can see things from a different perspective. Yeah, you understand because sometimes we're just locked into our own thinking in our own way that we can't see things from the other side. So, James uh, Simmons, I'd love um, because I know you, 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 a lot of your comments. Let me say this way: a lot of your comments um, kind of lean towards supporting the, the steps being taken by the GFL. Management, yeah. management, management. I'm gonna call you out. Stop being political. <laughs> Trey Moon and James are <laughs> pro JFF. It's not ambiguous. Go check the they, they coming communicating stream, and it's fine. Okay. Nothing wrong with you being pro JFF, but they're not. They're not sort of. They're pro JFF. Nothing wrong with that. We all can be pro uh, female, pro girls, and pro JFF. We can be someplace in the middle. You are where you are, but it's not yes. ambiguous. It's not um, something which is hard to interpret. They're pro JFF. Trey Moon has been beating me all night. Try you can be me online. That's fine. You can beat well, me. I don't. Well, he typed it in. He said, "I am pro JFF." So, no, you're pro JFF. You're not pro. You're pro Jamaica. He said pro Jamaica. So, um, <laughs> where is brain drain? I haven't seen Malin's man. Please remind Cranky that first and inaugural have the same meaning in this instance. We said brain drain. Amen. <laughs> 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 no, but, but but James, I'd love for you to um. You know, like somebody who's on the girls' side, just to have a discussion so that the, so that the, the wider audience can hear things from their side and you can present from a JFF perspective. I think that would be a worthwhile discussion. So if you are interested, <coughs> please reach out to me and um, and let me know. Maybe you can go uh, uh, against Cranky because Cranky believes that he can he, he has enough you know, solid arguments. All right. I can debate uh, both sides. I can I, debate both sides. Both sides. I have no problem debating both sides because it's not that hard. There's mm. rational on both sides. Mm. My my philosophy is I need to help people realize that um, if if you take one set of argument, the other side may have as good an argument or better than what you have, and you have to realize that and appreciate that. Don't just be entrenched in your position and don't give any credence. I don't give any perspective or any thought process about your view may not necessarily be the majority view. Or your view may not necessarily be right, frankly. Even though it's a view, an opinion, it may be, it has a lot of holes in it. And you have to live with that. And you have to 
appreciate someone else's perspective other than your own. And sometimes we don't. We are so focused on uh, the girls are wrong, the Jeff is right, or vice versa. We're not thinking from that's why we have the impasse we have because the girls think they're right and JF think they're right. And neither side, and I'm wondering what Dennis want to tell me. They're both entrenched in their position and they're making I love, not enough I love, attempt to resolve the situation. I love, I love, I love when they, I love um, the people when they when they, they, they type the things wrong and they try to correct it. Like Tennessee says, man, is, they won't come. They prefer the commitment section. They hide behind the kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> but he corrects it and says the keyboard, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, far those two. So you don't have something you type and, and it and it automatically type the word for you and you push because you want to get your message out quickly. Have to be all the time. You, you, you mistype a word or you type something and it, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's as AI spelling for you, and by the time you realize it, it's yeah. already gone. God. It's out of the public domain. You got big of Tennessee, but I like it. Like oh, what's his name called? Uh the man teapot. <laughs> oh, you mean Soji called Tiga? <laughs> but yeah, yeah um, but people, um, tomorrow we wish the girls all the best. I I really believe that um that they will that they will win um the game. Um, mm -hmm. I, I um you know that um Mr. Blake is presently um one of the key campaign persons in this election you know in the gff you know so he's he's probably very active um putting oh you mean you mean he's is 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 running for the opposition is that what you're saying well are uh, you supporting the opposition because he was he's, very <laughs> he was very complimentary because normally he he beat people as they call them like in quotes and he was very complimentary of the opposition i'm not sure if he's attaining because he talks about conflict of interest i wonder if he's been promised a position because in jamaica no quite not support none of them against something you know I must say that out loud. They're not supporting this. I get something. So, so we'll yes. Yeah, so what happened? I, I I understand that he has been appointed a deputy campaign director. So um, he's for free one. And, uh, for for one. <laughs> <laughs> for one side of the political divide. So he like um was in blazers, dropping off nomination and engaging people and all of those. So he's fully in. He's fully in. You know, fully employed. You know. So all the best. All the best. To him and his effort, you know. Um, um, I, I hope. Look, it's the same. It's the same JFF that we're getting. I don't care what anybody tell me. It's the right hand versus the left hand. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. I know that the, the opposition has brought in some new people. Still the same leadership, or lack thereof, frankly. Because in all this conversation we're talking about management, I haven't heard Ricketts come up in them. I haven't heard Ricketts read across the head in them. So if you're the head of the JFF, I'm mean, going impasse with the girl. Where's 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 where's, where's, where's Ricketts? I, I think both candidates are probably very active trying to um <laughs> does have time for the girls. He's busy the trying to campaign to win election. Secure it. <laughs> secure it. Make sure you secure the votes. Yeah, man. It's only it's only fifty-eight people, my name's man. And I'm sure, you know. I, I'll leave it alone. I'll leave that. <laughs> 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 I, I say, Brian, so Mr. F Mr. Blake is having a view from the penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, people, listen, very good show. We don't want to want to thank Stan Cranky. I mean, when I told him that um, I would not be available, he gladly missed Mr. Chung as well because he, without hesitation, said that he would come on. So let me make an announcement for you. Come to this. Um, people, I, I, am, um, I, I was thinking about starting my own channel next year. I said I was thinking, I mean, I've changed my mind because we can't take the meeting. We can't take the meeting. <laughs> you want know, to talk about this management? I'm going to do my YouTube channel next year, maybe two channels. One about yeah. social management, one about sports, but I have to revisit that thought process. <laughs> Because boy, the commenters can be so negative. I, I don't have the temperament sometimes you know, for some of this. I must have to think so. <laughs> I have to think about it. Let me revisit that thought process. But if I do start it, everyone, I hope you'll click on and subscribe. I'm, wait, no, my name is, here's my philosophy. If I put it up and I don't get a certain number of subscribers before I start my first communication, I won't do it. That's my philosophy. Really? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to start with a, with a certain Thank number you. first. Cranky, there are people listening to you now, waiting for you to start, and they have one objective. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs>
So they are just listening to you, know what I'm saying? In your head, you're already bum. Like, okay, I can't wait. Yeah, 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 We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what next year comes if I do it. I'm thinking about doing it. <laughs> I, I like to talk to the, I like to talk to the people actually. And I like different perspectives. And I don't want people to just go along with the, the status quo or what I say. I love to debate. It's something I do a lot um in different environments. So it'd be good to do it in a public forum like this and get people's perspectives. So I'm thinking about it. So I may do it. Wayne Cup, is this Wayne Cup the cricketer? Mm -hmm. well, Big cricketer is that the Wayne Coffee man say you have to be professional with your with your new YouTube channel because he, he <laughs> thinks you're no because he believes that you're leading Mr. Chung down a road of being unprofessional. You know, so. <laughs> no, no, no. I, th I think what is missing is this I work in a corporate environment like Dennis does, but what Dennis is doing is following just the protocol that they've effected, not realizing that sometimes you have to move, you have to make different you have to change direction to achieve your objective yeah but what he said right? though what he said though um cranky which is important is that in the contract there's a particular process so if he goes against what is in the contract it could also work against him then it, that man is they both invalid the contract i'm sure the contract has things about what it can communicate to the public they've both violated the contract what contract we're talking about jamaica here in certain situations <laughs> And frankly, they've both violated the contract. And if you want to, if you want to remediate the, or fix the impasse that you have, and break this impasse, you have to find a way to work around it. Yeah. True, the true. fact that you're telling me that oh, management gave me a representative, and I can't talk to management. I can see see management on the communication. I'm talking to management. You mean that I'm usurping your authority? No, that's not the case. Yeah, but cranky. If that's I say to you, listen, do not speak to me anymore. Speak to my lawyer. Why about why am I going to send no, you? No, 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 no. I, I didn't hear that man's man. I heard with a representative, that's the main representative. We, I didn't hear said, I can speak to you. Said, all right, cranky, husband and wife. Your wife says, Listen, I have I have engaged my lawyer, talk to my lawyer. I'm not copying her. Obviously, we're, you don't we're, want to talk to me. We're comparing apples and oranges. All right, that's cool, what we're cool. doing. Anyways, we're comparing apples and oranges. No, I'm saying cool. Cranky want to break the contract. Anyway. You, you break up your management. You have no need management. You don't plan to ever communicate with your wife in a management. You're gonna divorce her in a management. We plan yeah. to, come, plan to communicate with the girls going forward. There's a difference. You're trying to get together. You're trying to break your example is trying to break up. We're trying to get together. It's a big difference. Right? Big difference. So it's apples and oranges. Okay. But but that's what he said, you know. He actually said that, you know. That they said don't, yeah. <laughs> He said that, but, but anyways, let me say this. Um, Kyle, I agree with you, you know, Cranky. The world is coming to an end. <laughs> <laughs> we just closed up. <laughs> Yo, people, Kyle, I agree with Cranky. We're going to close out the show. We're going to close out the show, yeah, man, because Kyle, Kyle agree with Cranky. <laughs> <laughs> Can you know, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle will be one of the subscribers who are in the background just beat me 24-7, man, next body. He can't stop typing. Because Kyle is anti everything I say, Kyle is the opposite. Uh, yeah, but um, Mr. Wayne Cuff, big cricketer, big of himself, you know, Jamaica representative. I see Brian put in there that you're you're known more for being a soldier than a cricketer. Big up yourself. I need to talk to you, Mr. Cuff. Need to know what's going on with West Indies <laughs> cricket. Them call him on here, Shane Dorridge, and then call him on. And drop bravo, and then she and Dorit same retire from international. Hey, what, what's the <laughs> new? Hey, yeah, what the people, we think that JFF, JFF and Jamaica <laughs> football are problem. West Indies is cricket. <laughs> West Indies. That's Indies. the organization that our Cameron was running, by the way, wasn't it? West Indies cricket. <laughs> Worst. The best performing player is not called. <laughs> you can imagine. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that because the show end. But no, it is not. We're not going to talk about. um. We're not saying that it's not PNP JLP. We're talking about DW. We're talking about the the election. Yeah, man. So he's presently serving as a, like deputy campaign director or something of that sort. But all the best to him. You understand me? Um, so, because you know. So, so man is man. If 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 the current vice president doesn't win, is he out of the JFF? Or still have his position? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, he will not be a vice president, but they because remember, you know, he is like the match coordinator, and he's like like he's he's highly rated in terms of match coordination, like across 
probably the Caribbean. Meaning, when the game is being played, he's the one who coordinates those stuff at the stadium. So I don't, they could still engage him in that capacity, but they, they all have different vice presidents. As people, as I've said before, it's the left hand and the right hand, because we don't know that work. You vote against me, you oppose me, and you stick a part of my organization. We're not getting any difference. So people, we have to work around the administration because it's not changing. Sorry, it's not. It's the same thing. If you tell me he's gonna have a position after opposing the president in the election, where's the difference yes. in the people? Thank you, thank you. Can't say I disagree with him last night, and tonight you come and present all of his points. <laughs> <Mr. Charles>. <laughs> <laughs> you see why you, you see why you can't run a channel? Because right now you don't start cussing up. You have me tell you. No, I was I was trying to get out the question that people wanted to know. Like <laughs> if I was here and asking these questions, you guys would give me a difficult time. <clears throat> I'm asking what you, I'm trying to bring out the things which people are asking about. That's what I was trying to do for this whole discussion. That was the objective. What is that people are asking about, especially around payments? Has that been resolved? Where are we on that? And what are the other issues? And I was very shocked to hear Dennis say it was only a couple more issues because I get the sense from the girls that they have much more at hand that they're concerned about, which are not being addressed. Yeah. I'm not switching up trade. I'm not switching anything. All I'm doing is make sure we bring to the fore whatever is out there <laughs> that people are concerned about and let it get addressed. <laughs> what's, the, what's the cracky switch up tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, my, ho my hope is that the management that um, I don't understand get around this. The you ask a question that they want answers to and they say you switch yeah. up. They're just trying to be opposite. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Kai said, wait, 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 management. I, I'm, I, don't, I don't think I appreciate this. Kai said I did well tonight because I I must have been in yeah, line with whatever no. he was, right? Because yeah, if, exactly. if it was in line with him. Well, that is my point. <laughs> <laughs> you did this do so well last night, you know. But tonight, because, <laughs> because, because you said what he wanted. I asked what he wanted to know. But you know what would be funny? <clears throat> Kyle, who do you believe? No. Having heard what you heard, where do you start? Is that, is, is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> it must be a rhetorical question. <laughs> Kyle is in one corner and he's not leaving that corner. Can I go and dance against one wall in one corner? He's not leaving that corner. That's not happening. <laughs> Mikhail, should I should say a prayer before bed. Mikhail, why should I say a prayer tonight before I go to bed? It's been a long evening, Mikhail. I agree with you. It's been a, it's been an interesting evening. No, I, look, I, I appreciate that Dennis coming on. I appreciate Dennis and his perspective. Um, I welcome Bunny and Rebecca talking to Sports Max because what we want is to get to a place where they're talking, they resolve the differences. We put the best eleven on the field, and we can compete as a country and do well. That's all. And I'm very disappointed that we may not be seeing the girls in the, in the Gold Cup because the Gold Cup provides exposure to the girls. It provides money to the girls. It provides money to the JFF. It provides entertainment to the fans. And we're missing all of that if they don't compete. So if they don't win tomorrow, we're out of that, which is not good. And that shouldn't have happened. And it's been going on for too long, by the way. And by the way, I want to address one thing before I go because it's important. Because I get beaten on this, but I still have to talk about it because it's bothering me, management. Bonnie came out and talked about what she said to Ian Wright. And I get beaten by people saying she didn't say that they had go for me to go to the World Cup. She was talking about to get to where they were. But where they were was the Gold Cup. What am I so what am I confused about? I, I'm 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 totally confused, management. I don't want to beat this to death, but we all have hindsight view in life, management. And if you said something, well, stand by what you said. Yeah, if, if I were if, if I were talking to her, I would say, listen, do you regret saying it? Yes. Yeah, and, and let, because I think she should have said, you know, in retrospect, but she was not asked that question. I think I think they should have given her the opportunity to say, you know what? I understand how the people feel. I should not have said that. But she wasn't given that opportunity. Well, man, 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 man. Here's Mikael saying, she said here versus World Cup. No man, he's agreeing but with you. But here is the World Cup. He, oh, he, okay, okay. Mikael is agreeing. Okay, with okay, you. okay. Sorry, Mikael. Yes. I know you agree with me. 
I'm so I'm so jaded tonight that if you say something which seems contrary, I, I get I jump on it. So, but I'm, but I'm just saying, look, I'm not trying to beat Bunny, right? Because Bunny's a good servant for the country and a good player. But what Bunny did, he would disagree. He would disagree with you then, all. Well, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle is so entrenched in the girls' position. He can't see the forest of the trees. He can't see. So Bunny was wrong, and Bunny didn't apologize. <laughs> She did, you know, say what, what she should have said was, you know what, I, I, what I, sh I should have said what I said because there's no accountability and no repercussions to Bunny. People saying last night, you know what, if, if Dennis was wrong about the girls and the money, he should be fired, right? That's extreme as they went. I don't hear the one say Bunny should, should have some penalty for what she said, which wasn't accurate. See, see next man, because we are, we are biased. See, next man disagree with you now. Cranky, mm -hmm. your interpretation was a literal interpretation. But I agree, Bunny should have articulated herself more, with more clarity. So she wasn't clear, but you're no, interpreting it was literal. Man, 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 go watch the interview. Cranky, you don't have to tell when me. Ian, when Ian, Ian was responding, was... she even increased that. Right? Yeah, when, because, when Wright was responding. We have a hashtag coming out of that as well called hashtag yeah. something. Hashtag what? We will something. Listen. Claudine, 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 Claudine. The, what is my job? Claudine. Go watch the BBC when that occurred. Go watch the American channels when that occurred. People, go come see. She's talking. Wait, Bobsy Grange talked to her. Why would Bobsy call her? Unless that's that, what Bobsy interpreted. Um, come on, listen. She ad she is admitting that she, she had to clarify. So how people are saying that it was about interpretation. Everybody interpreted bad except her. Everybody interpreted bad except what she said. It was, if you it saw was, right his face, so, so yeah. all, all you guys are saying is this: BBC, um, ESPN, ESPN, BBC, CNN. In, in, in France, it was in all in in Afri South Africa, in Australia. All of them were saying how the Jamaican. That is why the government had to call. All and you are saying that all the people around the world misinterpreted her. Come on, Emma, let's just be real and say, listen, it was wrong. Let's move past it. Like I said, I am glad that she took the opportunity last night to speak to the issue. And even though she spoke <laughs> to the issue, people are still justifying it. She was not asked, Claudine. She said, let me share some, let me speak. And she volunteered to speak on it. it. She was the one who brought it up. They never asked her. She brought it up because she needed to address it. They never asked her. It was when she brought it up that they asked her a question. They never asked her any question. She said one other thing and she brought it up. I remember listening. I remember listening to Robbie <clears throat> and and, and thing there. I remember listening to Robbie and Arsenal, and they were talking about Find how the way, man. And people now they're gonna think you know, oh, you're not so great in that, exactly. and you don't have to do it. Could you rest? Yeah. Yes. I'm so pleased to be you. I'm gonna go back, man. Hey, hold up. There's ad advertisement here. Right? I'm gonna pull it up, man. I like to pull it up enough. For all those people who justifying this time, I like to pull it up. I'm we made for them so they can hear it. Yeah, we don't want to run the ad door. No, we're not running the ad. We just, we just, we don't. No, we don't want to run the ad. It's been a long journey, man. It's been a. Bro, see. Yeah, but one of um, we have to open. We have to do fund to get money to be here. Yes. Where we, are. we have to sacrifice so much to be here. So to be here now and it's coming out, it's just an incredible thing, man. So when somebody said they gave up on us. And we have to go get GoFundMe to be here. To I'm get sure. where we are. What, where's the misinterpretation in that comment? So I'm confused. I'm that, yes, all I'm saying is that it it was wrong. Let's get past it. Yes, let's move on. But That's but I'm but saying. I'm saying if you yeah, take Dennis Chong, should be penalized for saying something we think is enough. You gotta be fair in how you view the world. That's why the world is so struggling. That's why the world is the world is struggling. Because people are not fair how they assess things. Yeah, they so, have so, their side, it's the only side that matters. The other person's side doesn't matter. That's why we have Israeli um Palestinian conflict. That's why we have Ukraine Russian conflict. That's why we have Democrats against Republicans. Is anyone I JLP, PNP, right, same so, thing. No, no, no. Here's the thing though. Yes, when we talk, 
I don't want to go try to beat me or crank you know, because guess what? We are saying in our collo colloquial terms. So uh, don't, 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 don't take it literal when me and Cranky talk. You're misinterpreting everything management saying. <clears throat> A formula, you do not know. When she spoke it, formula, you did not know what she mean. Stop people, 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 people. When a person talk, you do not know what they mean unless they tell you. You can't say that is not what they meant. You don't know what, you're not in people's head. You don't know what they mean. If a man say, yo, if a man say me hate you like poison, you, I, and you say, well, he don't mean it literally. You don't know that because you're not in their mind. So don't tell me, don't, don't tell me that did not mean. Unless the person says, I did not mean that, you don't know. Wanna get nonsense from man? So formula, you Jeez, can man. Anyway, formula, form, no, no, but management, here's the problem, management. Look, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't argue with you, Formula. I'm very anyway, supportive, Formula. I'm going to end the show. So, Formula, everything that Mr. Speeder said and, and Fire and Kyle is in the colloquial term. They don't mean mm. it literally. It's just our interpretation. Everything has been said on YouTube is in colloquial terms. They are not, right? So let's, let's, let's put that there. That's not what the people meant. If we apply the principle... So man, man is man, man is man. We have to apply man the principle man. generally. No, man, the show man is done, man. man. No, 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 man, 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 is man, man is man. Listen, man, man, man. You can continue. We're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got, man, man, what you get for sure, man is man. Let me just say this. Let me just say this, guys, which is this. If I come out and say something and it doesn't resonate with that audience, I may want to change what I say, you know, so it can resonate with my audience. Right? So if I say something and I'm called out, I may say, you know what? I got to reposition this because even though what I meant, it didn't come across the right way. And that's what I thought happened. Every major media outlet for the World Cup is covered globally came back with the interpretation that the girls were not supported by the Federation and that the goal for me was what got them to Australia. I don't know where formula get this cockamamie story from. I don't know where other people come from. Interpretation, not interpretation, is what was said. And so it was digested and received by all the major outlets. I, I watched the BBC. I watched CNN. I watched ESPN. It was interpreted that way. And why would the government call her to talk about this if that's not how it was viewed and received by those audiences? So we don't want to talk about this anymore. But the fact I'm trying to say is this is that you always got to take things with a grain of salt. You always got to hear both sides to a story before you make your own decision. And if you don't, you're being biased. I saw a YouTuber put something up today <clears throat> where they were talking about the JFF lying because of what they heard from the girl and, and a bunch of other comments. And I smiled saying, but this person didn't listen to both sides of the story, but they're entrenched in their view and they don't really care about the other side because the narrative support where they are. And I'm trying to impart to people is this, which is this, which is always this to both sides. <clears throat> How many times have you watched, um, I was using the example of this, a case in a court of law where one side presents their story and it sounds great and you hear the other side and you totally change your view. It happens all the time. So why can't we do that in this case, right? Not because the JFF has had their history of being what I call inept and they have not necessarily functioned as the body should in their capacity as administrators for Jamaica football. Why we can sometimes give them credit if they do something right, or if the party they're engaging with, they have a disagreement with, do something which is not right. Not because you believe the other party is incompetent, I mean the, the incompetent party can do, does do something which you agree with. It's not mutually exclusive. That's part of my frustration. So I'm not gonna beleaguer this conversation tonight. I would say a couple of things. One is I appreciate each of you being here. Um, it was an interesting conversation. Dennis and I agree to disagree on some things. I appreciate the comments in the comment section. I think you guys did a good job of whatever side you're on, of engaging us and being part of the dialogue. 
and we appreciate. And family, let me talk to you, family, I'll beat you because we can't believe Bridger that you said them things you said to me. So I know you better than that. I know you're a much smarter person than that. I'm much more objective than that, family. But I, everyone, thanks for being here. Truly appreciate it. Uh, by the way, I'm going to do a poll. If you think I should do a YouTube channel, let me know. Think Cranky is a bad idea. Leave it alone. I also want to know. Because you're going to help me make that decision, actually. Even though I had made up my mind to do it, maybe I should revisit that because I'm telling you, on a rough crowd, not a rough crowd. But you know what? As comedians always say, there are certain audiences you want to engage with because you know they are rough audiences and they only make you better. And in a lot of instances in life, when you're in a very challenging environment and you overcome that environment, you feel good about your accomplishments because it only help you be a better person and be excellent at what you do. So thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. We appreciate it. Manning's man, thanks for having me tonight. Uh, you know, Manning's man got perturbed. I keep telling him, anything. I have a, a blood pressure. I go up, I might have a heart attack if we keep taking these things first now. <laughs> when people push back hard on him and don't align with his thoughts. But thanks for being here. I truly appreciate it. Bless each of you in the chat. Tennessee, Kevin, Wayne, Ishmael, my friend Kyle, who likes to beat me. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks for being here. Appreciate, appreciate it. And have a wonderful evening. Bless up, everybody. <laughs>